Kuyanza ibada hii tunakualika Baba Bwana ukaanze pamoja nasi uweza wako na nguvu zako nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu Bwana zianze pamoja nasi ukatuhudumie e Mungu wa mbingu na nchi achilia roho wako nafsi ya utendaji akafanye kazi kwa kutuponya kutugusa kuyagusa maisha yetu kuisha roho na nafsi changamoto magonjwa shida mbalimbali Hakika bwana wa mabwana wenu wakati wa kupumzika wakati wa kuhudumiwa na wakati wa kuguswa tuajiachilie mikononi mwako e bwana tukijua wewe ni mungu na si wanadamu na wewe ni baba na si watoto na huu ni wakati mzuri tumekuja mbele zako na mikononi mwako bwana utudumie kwa uweza wa nguvu zako nguvu za roho mtakatifu kuanzia sifa kuabudu na vipindi vingine vyote hakika siku ya leo siku ya matunda na furaha kwa ukuu wa nguvu za roho mtakatifu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kushukuru amen amen haleluya Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I said praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We're going to sing a song that says I am a friend of God. Are you a friend of God this morning? Amen. Hallelujah. Do you believe that you're a friend of God? Amen. It says who am I that you are mindful of me? That you hear me.
we say yes lord yes lord yes yes lord say yes lord yes lord yes yes lord yes lord yes lord yes
God, we thank you this morning. Hallelujah. We bless your name for the privilege and the ability to worship you freely and openly as we please. We thank you for your love and we thank you for your presence in this yes. place. May you inhabit the presence of your people this morning, oh God. For you said the time is here and the time is now when the true worshipers will worship you in spirit and in truth. And we ought to see you in this place this morning, oh God. We bless your name, Lord. May you have your way in our worship. May you have your way in our hearts. In Jesus' name.
in our midst for you deserve it all in Jesus mighty name amen amen amen, amen. glory to the name of Jesus before I dismiss you can we do mambo sawa sawa just mambo sawa sawa just in just ka mambo sawa sawa alafu kae uone inuka ucheze mambo sawa sawa because yes all things are good in our midst amen
Tell your neighbor, Mambo Sawa Sawa. Mambo Sawa Sawa. God bless you so much. Her praise team, you guys are awesome. Can we give a hand clap to the Lord for them? Amen. This is such an amazing team. I don't know if I should claim you forever, that you'll be here standing every Sunday and every Sunday in and out. <laughs> Amen. Okay, if we are alive, if you are alive, we got to be together alive. Amen. If I say amen, you say amen. amen. Tell your neighbor we are at church. Amen. Got to show life. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We thank God again for this uh, wonderful Sunday morning of this week, uh, Labor Weekend Day, our uh, Labor Day Weekend. That's the right way. Amen. And God has. <laughs> And also we can hear from him. Therefore, I want to encourage you to keep your heart open. Open. This. You hear me? Okay. Yeah, keep your heart open for what God has to do. Tell your neighbor what God wants to do. Again, what God wants to do is for you specifically. It's not for anybody who is not here, but he has something just for you. Amen? So be attentive, be watchful, and be open so that you can have all that he has for you. At this moment, uh, before we are going to hear the word of God, I would like to uh, invite a few individuals to greet us. We are in the, tell your neighbor, we are in a service, so it's good to get time to know each other and to salute and to hear God's blessings, amen? I know for some who were here last night, we briefly had opportunity to greet each other. But again, I would like to take this opportunity, first of all, to invite our pastor, because the protocol may have changed the order of the greetings, but today I want to allow Pastor Vincent to come and start to give us greetings. Amen. Yeah. Karibu sana uje utusalimie ili tuweze kuendelea. Amen. Hallelujah. I greet you all people of God in the one of name, the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Well, thank God for this wonderful day. And really, I would like to thank these pastors, this friend of mine, Bishop Abihudi and uh, Pastor Catherine for this wonderful and great vision that God has given to you. And good enough, thank you for the protocol today, at least. <laughs> because if you give this wonderful and great men of God bishops to speak first, and you give us last time, so it become a little bit difficult to talk because when you speak, then this wonderful bishop, they are just looking at you and say, well, I want to hear what, what this young man is speaking here because I have already concluded each and everything. So it become a little bit difficult, but uh, now I can just speak. So I'm really glad I'm here. I'm from Tanzania, Dodoma, and God is good. Amen. Really, God is good. Nimejisikia baraka sana kuwepo huku Amerikani, ni mara yangu ya kwanza. Lakini nimejisikia baraka sana kupokelewa na askofu wa Bihuti pamoja na mke wake. Hawa ni watu wa maana sana kwangu. Watu wa maana sana kwangu. Na nimejisikia baraka kuwa sehemu ya tukio hili, tukio la muhimu na lenye baraka nyingi sana. Na niseme tena kwamba kwa kweli, uh, siku hizi mbili kwangu zimekuwa siku za faida. Ni siku ambazo zimebadilisha maisha yangu. Maisha hayapo kama yalivyokuwa pale kwanza. Kwa hiyo nichukue nafasi hii tena. Of course nilijitambulisha jana na leo ninarudia tena. Lakini tuniseme Bwana awabariki sana, asanteni sana. Thank you so much. God bless you for you and everything. Thank you so much. Protocol observed. Thank you so much. Uh, I also want to take this opportunity to invite uh, Brother Isaac also to come and say hello to us. Karibu sana. 
Thank you Jesus. Ambia jirani yako penda basi wageni. Eh, hey, washangilia angalau wanapokuja kusalimia. <laughs> Amen. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Kwa mara nyingine nawasalimu kwa jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Ninatokea Tanzania. I come from Tanzania. Uh, nina ni kiongozi wa taasisi inaitwa Kingdom Leadership Network Tanzania. I'm a leader of that organization. Ni taasisi ambayo ina maono ya tofauti kidogo na inavyozoeleka. It's an entity that has a different vision as we have no more. Uh, uh, Sisi tumetumwa kuanzia pale kwa miaka mingi kanisa limekuwa likifanya maombi for most of the time the church has been in prayer likiombea viongozi likiombea wakristo kuwa wafanye biashara wakubwa praying for the big business people and such sisi Mungu ametupa neema ya kuanzia pale maombi ya lipofikia kwenda kwenye utekelezaji but god has given us the grace to start where the prayer ends and take into action put it in action what we have prayed for kwa lugha nyingine naweza kusema it is the action side of the gospel kwa maneno rahisi naweza nikasema ni ni utendaji wa injili kwa sisi tukifika tukikuta kanisa kama hili mnaombea viongozi so when we come here and we find you praying for the leaders sisi tunawatambua viongozi alafu tunawachukua kwenye mafunzo alafu tunawa peleka kwenye kazi. We recognize those leaders and then we take them we take them to a special training and then send them back to where they are, they, they are from. Tukiona mnaombea wakristo wao wafanye biashara wakubwa wao mamilionea kwa ajili ya falme ya Mungu. When we find you praying for Christians to become billionaires and great business people for the kingdom of God. Pamoja na kuomba. Together with the prayer. Tunawatafuta hao wafanye biashara. We seek them and we take them tunawaandalia viwa na mafunzo maalum and we uh, take them to a special cause tunawakutanisha tuna na wafanyabiashara wa Kristo waliokuwa kwa waliofanikiwa and networking with uh, network them with uh, different christian business people who have already gone before them tunawakutanisha na waombaji we connect them with prayer warriors tunawakutanisha na walezi wa kiroho we connect them with spiritual mentors tunataftia tunakusanya mawazo ya kibiashara and then we take their business ideas alafu tunayalea and uh, nurture them alafu tunayapeleka sokoni and then we market it hicho ndicho ambacho tunafanya that is what we are doing kwa, kwa kifupi taasisi ambayo ninafanya tunawatambua viongozi tunawalea na tunawa deploy tunawa release kwenye marketplace so briefly the institution that we have is to recognize leaders and business people train them and then send them back tunachokifanya tunazingatia kila kanuni za kitaaluma we follow up every educational uh, kanuni principle that is needed Bi- business practices zote za kawaida kabisa za mtu yote anafanya biashara anazifanya we do all the business practices follow them fully as any other business so for yetu sisi ni kwamba we just add the god factor kwenye hiyo business only that we add the mungu factor in that business now that makes the whole difference na inafanya kila kitu kibadilike na hapo ndipo shetani ambapo ataki and that is what the devil hates kwa hiyo tuna taasisi hii tunachofanya tunazingatia the professional part and the spiritual part part so, of this. So we take care of both the professional and the practical aspect na focus yetu ni kwenye eneo la siasa serikali na biashara and we focus in politics a government and business sisi sio kanisa we are not a church lakini kanisa ndio partner wetu mkuu but the church is our greatest partner lakini tunao partners wengine but we have other partners ikiwemo serikali ya Tanzania together with the government of Tanzania Israel, the government of Israel na sasa tupo kwenye hatua za mwisho za serikali ya Marekani and we are also in very last uh, agreement with the government of the American government amen amen mungu awabariki sana god bless you so much amen thank you so much brother Isaac for this great vision may god bless you and continue So I hope you have identified some of our leaders and we give you permission to train them and deploy them. <laughs> Tell your neighbor you are one of them. Hallelujah. Ah ah hujamwambia mwambie jirani yako you may be one of them. Okay. Wengi wamependa you may be one of them. When I told you are one of them you didn't like it. I also want to take this opportunity to invite brother Chavala to come and say hello. Uh, these people have traveled a long way to be here all the way from Tanzania it's not easy come on put your hands together as they come to give us greetings karibu 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Na mimi namshukuru Mungu sana kupata nafasi hii ya kufika hapa na kuwa oh, sehemu. I thank God for this opportunity to to get to be here. Na kuwa sehemu ya mkutano huu na kusanyiko hili. And to be part of this uh, conference. Uh, lakini pia na mimi nachukua nafasi hii kwa shukuru uh, askofu Abihudi na mchungaji Catherine. But I also want to take this opportunity to thank Bishop Abihudi and Pastor Catherine. Wamekuwa lango zuri. They have uh, become a good door. Kuyafahamu mengi upande huu to understand a lot of stuff in this side. Naitwa King Chavala. I my name's a King Chavala. Ah uh, mimi ni mtaalamu wa biashara na utawala kwa taaluma. I am mtaalamu wa business and uh, Okay, I'm a business management consultant. Thank you so much. Business management consultant. Lakini pia ni mfanya biashara. But I'm also a businessman. Uh, kwenye mwili wa Kristo nimeitwa kama mwalimu wa neno la Mungu. Body of Christ I'm called as a teacher of the word of God. Wengine wanasema apostle lakini sijaelewa sana hilo neno kwenye apostolic mission lakini mimi najua ni mwalimu. I don't know those others are called apostle I'm not fully aware of the understanding of it but I am called to be a teacher. Lakini nafanya pia naandika. I also write. Uh, na na shughuli sana na huduma ya kulea vijana and i also mentor young people kwa hiyo wito mkubwa ambao nilitiwa ambao wakati napewa sikupenda sana well, the greatest uh, call that i was given when i was called i didn't really uh, was, yeah, i wasn't yeah. excited about i was told i would be a great mentor sasa niliambiwa tu nitakuwa a great mentor kwa hiyo hapo sikuelewa mara ya kwanza lakini baadaye nikaja kuelewa i didn't understand well about that but then later on i understood Uh, namshukuru Mungu sana kwa sasa nakaa Mbea. So I thank God uh, presently I reside in Mbea. Na nina mke mmoja mwanamke. I have one wife, a woman wife. Uh, uh, nasema hiyo sababu huku kwenu unaweza kuwa kuna wana wana, 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 wana. I say that carefully because I know this side of your world it could be the other way. Yeah, kwa hiyo ni ni Mwafrika mwenye akili timamu kabisa. I am an African with my full mind. Alafu na mtoto mmoja wa viuno vyangu na watoto wengi wa kiroho. I have one child of my own from my own loins and many other spiritual kids. Uh, mpaka leo asubuhi nikiwa hapo. Till this morning when I was there seated. Nimeokoka. Ni, ni I'm still born again. Mpaka asubuhi. And I'm sanctified. Uh, mnaokuwa na, 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 na sehemu mimi nimekuwa muasisi wa Christian Stand Up Comedy Tanzania. I have been uh, one of the founders of com- Christian Comedy in Tanzania. Na Stand Up Comedy. Na nimekuwa nafanya na kulea wanaofanya. And I've been doing it myself and also mentoring those in that call. Kuweka tu msisitizo hapo. Mimi sifanyi mizaha. I'm not doing jokes. So just to emphasize I'm not doing jokes. Huwa tuna nakupa kioo cha kutazama mambo kwa kina alafu ukishtuka ndo unacheka. It's only that I give you a mirror to look at things deeply and when you realize that's when you find yourself laughing. The of you will. Asa wanakuwa leo nilikuwa nasalimia mchungaji. Umeruhusiwa? Okay. Okay. Kwa hiyo ndio namna ambayo anasema kwamba kutokuwa tofauti sana kati ya mzaha na na na, na ucheshi. So there is a, a big difference between jokes and mockery. And yeah, mockery. I can say mockery and what I don't know. Kwa Kiingereza ni kigumu. Hmm. Umekiweza. Uh, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Of course English ni roho. English ni roho. The English is spirit. Eh, sasa hapa siko mtatafsiri lakini nasema tu English ni roho. But English is spirit, right? Sababu kuna saa unaweza ukaisema kuna saa unasahau. Because there are time you can speak it fluently and this time it disappears. Na mimi zamani wakati nakuwa nilikuwa najua mtu anaongea Kiingereza ndio ana akili kweli kweli. And when I was growing up I knew anybody speaking English is the brightest person. Unakuta mtoto mtoto wa kizungu yuko hapa. You find a, 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 ki, a, a mzungu kid this this little. Daddy 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 so yamani ana akili mtoto. Can call daddy daddy and you go like wow this kid is so smart. Mbona mimi hapa mziki mkubwa hata how are you sijui. With my age I don't even know how to speak like her. Oh okay. nikajua hata wao wenyewe pia Kiswahili hawajui. But then I realized they don't even know Kiswahili. Wanajivuna tu. They just uh, boss themselves. Lakini kuna siku moja nikaja kugundua. But one day I came to realize. Kiingereza ni kikisha pesa sana. English is very easy. Ukiamua if you decide hata wanyama wanaongea kiingereza because even the animals speak english kuna siku nimempa paka 
Because you give a cut a meat. Alafu nikamnyang'anya. And then I took it away. Nikamwambia nitakupa baadaye. And then I told I'll give you later. Akaanza now. And then now, he started crying. Sasa hivi. Sasa hivi kama he he. Like now now now. Huyu paka wa kizungu au? And I wondered is this a a mzungu paka or a cut or what? Hata ng'ombe ukimpa majani kama hajashiba lazima aseme nahitaji mengine. Even cow if you give grass he will just he has to say i need more yeah, more yani mengine more, more that mean, that's in english Toto. more lakini hata hata mbwa ukipita and even a dog if you just cross by lazima akuulize they have the dogs have to kule, ask you kule, kule, kule africa lazima ukuulize and especially in africa they will ask you who 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 <laughs> nani who? nani like who who, who are you kwa hiyo <laughs> Nikajua kwamba wanajua wa Kiingereza sio Kiswahili so, sana. I realized that even the animals know English not because they went to school. Na kama sisi hapa ambao ni watumishi wakati mwingine huwa kinatusumbua. And especially for us who are servants of God we are really troubled. Ukipewa uhubiri Kiingereza. When you are told to preach in English. Unapunguza matirio. So you narrow down everything you had prepared. Kwa sababu kuna sehemu za kuflow kwa Kiingereza. Because there are places where you flow in English lakini Kiswahili kinapendeza zaidi. But in Swahili it, ma- it is even better. You know kwa kwa Kiswahili kumwambia nataka uokoke. In Swahili when you say I want you to be born again. Sasa sasa in English uweze kusema hivyo. The English you see it doesn't sound right. I want you to be born again. Oh my lord, it doesn't go right. Haiji. <laughs> Aiji. It doesn't come. Kwa wakati mwingine ukiwa umesahau Kiingereza, so when you forget your English, unaunganisha na kunena kwa lugha. You just has to bring to speak in tongues. Mm. Yes. So God want you to oribo sekerebo. Kasa um, Mungu anataka ura mashaka. To give to him. Utoe kwake. Hapo ulisahau Kiingereza. You just forgot the English there. Na hata kwa unajua tuishi kadhaa makube. And uh, you all know that oh there's man of God is deep here. Kiingereza. But it is English. <laughs> Lakini kuna kuna mzungu mmoja alikuja Tanzania. But there was one mzungu who came to Tanzania. Wakati anaondoka. And when he was leaving. Naye akawa anataka atuage kwa Kiswahili. He wanted to say bye in Swahili. Akagundua kumbe na wenyewe pia ni wajinga. And I realize oh even them they are just like us. Kwenye kingere, kwenye when it comes to Swahili. Hata maiti. Uh, so he said, nimekuwa hapa. I have been here Tanzania Tanzania na washukuru sana and I thank you so much Thank you so much bishops Asante sana maskofu and nataka kusema goodbye Then I want to say goodbye Lakini nataka niseme kwa Kiswahili But I want to say it in Swahili um, um, kuhara <laughs> kuhara <laughs> Kuhara means diarrhea. Eh sasa kwa heri, hiyo ni kwa heri kweli. Is that really kwa heri? Tutaribu lugha za watu. Wana wabariki sana tuko pamoja. All people's language people. May God bless you and we are together. Thank you very much. Asante sana. Pastor Ndoya naomba unisaidie. Mwambie jirani yako cheka basi. Mwambie angalie usije ukasema kuhara. I thank God also for uh, uh, God bless you man of God. Thank God for Pastor Noya all the way from Rock Island. Uh, the team was here yesterday but some had to leave go back uh, to Rock Island but he stayed with us and we really want to appreciate your commitment and dedication. I want you to greet the church and then keep the mic so you can help us to continue in this th- two languages. Imani watakatifu Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Imani sisi hapa ni nyumbani. We, uh, this is home uh, for us. Tunapenda kwa namna ya pekee sana kumshukuru Bishop Abiudi. We would like to thank na, specifically pa- Bishop Abiudi. Na Pastor Catherine wamefanyika baraka sana kwetu sisi. And Pastor Catherine they've been a blessing to us. Uh, wengine kwenye huduma tuseme Unaweza ukakaa kwenye huduma usijui kama unafanya kazi ya Mungu kwa huduma ya level fulani. You know for some you can be doing the work of ministry but not realizing at what level. Uh, kwa sababu unashangaa unafanya upande huu unafanya upande huu unashangaa siku moja tu jina lolote analokuita wewe itikia ile mradi linatoka ni la Mungu. And you do everything here and there just accept whatever they will be calling you at that moment as long as it comes from the Lord. Uh, ndugu zetu kutoka Tanzania tunashukuru sana kwamba mmekuja kutuambia kwa sababu si wengine tuko kule kwetu tuna makanisa ambayo tunayo nadhani watumishi wanayafahamu tuna watu wengi kutoka Burundi, Rwanda, Kongo 
uh, watu wa kutoka nchi za Kenya wachache wengi walikuwa wakimbizi Tanzania kwa hiyo wote wanajiita wa Tanzania our church uh, for some of you may realize and for the sake of our friends from Tanzania we have a church that most of them are refugees from different areas but they identify themselves from Tanzania na ni challenge ambayo tunayo kama mtumishi kazi mnazosema za biashara ku train watu na nini ndio sections ambazo pengine tuseme kama sisi kwa sababu tuna mtazamo tofauti kidogo ukiangalia sisi wote wa Tanzania kwa mfano wengi ambao tumekuja hapa tuji kama wakimbizi From some of us when we come here we didn't come uh, as refugees unakuja kama mtu ambaye una malengo fulani you come kufana. already identifying why you want to be here lakini wale watu wamekaa kwenye kambi kwa hiyo serikali imeamua yue ni wachukue kwa hiyo wanawaleta wengine hata wajui kwa nini wako hapa but for such a case most of the time when they get here they they were just brought by the government not identifying their goals of achievement what do they want to do here kwa hiyo sasa ni kazi kubwa ambayo watu ambao wameshakuwa na mwanga kuanza sasa kugawana ule mwanga ili na wao waweze kuamka pamoja ndio kanisa liweze So it is our great responsibility for us with an understanding to come and share that understanding and knowledge so that the church also may be blessed and continue. Uh, Bishop Abuda anafahamu wale sio wote kutoka A to Z na kazi iliyoko ni kwamba kazi ya Mungu ni kama watumishi wanavyosema iko katika section mbalimbali sio kwamba ukiwa mchungaji wewe ndio mtumishi The work of God has a lot of things it's not that being a pastor you are everything Kwa hiyo uh, nikiacha kusema ni kwamba nashukuru kwamba wengine tumekuwa exposed kwa watumishi mbalimbali ambao mkifika hapa basi na sisi tunaomba muwapitishe kule kijijini kwetu unajua nilikuwa nasema jana nikasema sisi kwetu kule watumishi wengi wakifika hata wakujui kwa sababu wakujajulikana ni kama kijijini ni mji mkubwa tu so, uh, kijijini for us like uh, rock island is like a village but my request is that when you receive men and women of god please send them our way even though it's a remote unknown area uh, tuna vijana ambao wanapenda kusimka mmoja akianzisha biashara ikiwa nzuri wote wanaingia huko sasa mwishowe biashara ile inakosha soko kabisa <laughs> we have very exciting and energetic young people who are willing to do business and to copy what can be done sasa tuna tulikuwa na msimuko watu walienda walikataa uraia wengine wakakubali uraia basi wote wakapata uraia sasa mmoja akaanzisha biashara ya kuwa na Uh, cargo van kuchukua mizigo sehemu mbalimbali unapeleka state mbali kila mmoja kanunua cargo van <laughs> sasa dispatchers wanaangaika wagawe vipi mizigo wa watu watoshelezi kile mmoja afanye uh, it's very easy for them to be influenced because i have a case when one person chose to buy a cargo van mm. and all the other young men did the same until the dispatchers now like there is no business for them anymore i don't have any business mindset of any kind napenda tu mawazo ya kuweza ku tia moyo wengine kwa hiyo watumishi wa Mungu ambao mnafanya kazi ya injili hasa kwenye sehemu za biashara uh, sisi tunawahitaji zaidi sana so uh, personally i don't have that mindset but i would like to invite those who have that understanding and knowledge to come and influence uh, our congregation na nimalizia tu kwa kusema tunamshukuru Mungu kwa kumkuwa na bishop Rioba tulikuwa na bishop uh, Maboya kwa conference kuu July 20th to 22nd na tunatarajia kwamba bishop Rioba yeye ni nyumbani kule kwa hiyo tunajua na sisi atakuja kule mkiweza kufika watumishi wakiwaambia tafadhali wenje uone tu mnakuja kutembea ili mjue wapi tunalima mchicha na nyanya chungu zipo kule <laughs> and we thank god we had bishop Maboya in July and we'll be with uh, bishop Rioba because to him that is home but please if your pastors would allow you come and join us and now on behalf of my husband the pastor bishop we allow you please go and be with them so it's not on us it's on you tumewakaribisha mchungaji man lakini tunawashukuru sana but we really thank you all wenzetu waliondoka tuna vishughuli kidogo muhimu vinakwepo leo tunatarajia kupata wageni tulikuwa na familia nne zimefika za kutoka wengine wametoka Kenya wakimbizi wengine walitoka tena Tanzania kwa hiyo viongozi wengine waliondoka ili wawepo na kuna ubatizo wiki ijayo tutakuwa na harusi kwa hiyo wenzangu waliona waende kule mimi nikasema mimi bado nitakuwa haki hapa mpaka Amen most of my, the crew left because uh, there is a lot to be accomplished but I thought I'll be here so that I can finish to the end Mungu awabariki na May God bless you and thank you very much Ubarikiwe sana mchungaji. You keep the mic. You keep the mic. Don't don't go away. We're gonna we need your help to uh, to continue. Amen. Oh, tell your neighbor. God is good.
Hallelujah. And tell the other person, God is good. Amen. We are going to stand up and I would like to invite uh, Tumaini and Messiah to give us one brief worship song. And as soon as they finish, we'll take this opportunity right away to invite our, our guest speaker, Bishop Zephaniah Ryoba, to come and minister this morning. <laughs> And at the same time, while they put their things together. Basi na wakati wakati wanaendelea kweka vitu pamoja, tunakaribisha mesia na kaka tumaini riyoba kwa ilia wimbo. Aftena tutaenda kusimama tuweze kuwabudu. Yeah, may we all stand up together. Alafu tunakaribisha mtumishu wa mungu. And I would like to invite those watching us online. Na pia tunakukaribisha wewe ambayo unatuangalia sasa hivyo. Thank you so much for joining us. Asante kwa kuungana nasi. We have... I received great uh, response from yesterday's uh, conference. Tumepokea mwitikio uh, mzuri sana kutoka jana ambao mlikuwa mmeungana nasi kwenye ibada. Don't feel distance join with us you are so close because the presence of God is right where you are. Sijione uko mbali wewe ujione uko pamoja na sisi hapa kwa sababu uwepo wa Mungu uliopo hapa na wewe uko nao. And stay tuned as we continue for I know the Lord has a word for you too. Hiyo kama macho kaa chonjo wakati tunaendelea ili ukaweze kupata kile Mungu ambacho and again, if you have any question, you need help, or you have any prayer request, call the information, the number that is on the flyer. Na kwa mfano kama uko na swali, unakitu ambacho unaitaji, unaombi maalum, tafadhali, piga simu kwenye namba mbayo inaonekanika hapo kwenye tangazi. And you will be able to join us. Na utaweza kungana nasi moja kwa mbuta. Praise the name of Jesus. Jina labuana libarikia. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, let's just prepare our hearts this morning. We're going to sing a simple song. It says, let your living water flow over my soul. Let your Holy Spirit come and take control. Amen. I think we all know that song is very simple. And let's just avail ourselves and get ready to receive what God has in store for us this morning. Amen. Amen. Let your living water
you are you can open upote pale ulipo you are mouth and to thank god for this moment hebu jifungue tuweze kumshukuru mungu pamoja kwa wakati huu just thank god for this weekend mshukuru mungu kwa ajili ya weekend nzima hii thank god for everything he has done for you mshukuru mungu kwa kila kitu ambacho amefanya kwako you know sometimes you are so busy muda mwingine tuko tunajishughulisha na mambo mengi moment then we slow down and say god we want to thank you lakini kuna muda ambao tunapunguza mwendo na tunasema mungu tunataka thank you for everything you have done in our lives asante kwa kila kitu ambacho umefanya maisha ni mwetu so let us go before god right now asante twende mbele za mungu kwa wakati huu father we just want to thank you baba tunaomba tukushukuru thank you lord for your life asante kwa ajili ya upendo wako thank you for everything you have done so far in our lives oh god katika maisha yetu We want to thank. Tunapenda tukushukuru. We want to give you praise. Nataka tukuabudu. We want to magnify you God because you are good God. Nataka tukuzungumze jina lako kwa wewe ni Mungu. You are so precious to us. Wewe ni Mungu wa thamani sana Bwana. You are our life. Wewe ni maisha yetu. You are our health. Wewe ni maisha yetu. You are our strength. Wewe ni nguvu yetu. So God we want to thank. Baba Mungu tunataka tukushukuru. We want to you to help us. Nataka Bwana utusaidie. We want you Lord to be with us. Nataka Bwana uweke pamoja nasi. We want you Lord to heal us oh God. Nataka utuponye God strengthen us. Baba Mungu tuwezeshe. We need you in our lives. Tunahitaji maisha ni mwetu. We bless you Lord this morning. And we magnify you God. Oh tunalitukuza jina lako. You are the only God. Wewe ni Mungu who can save. You are the only God. Wewe ni Mungu who can deliver. Ambaye unaweza You are the only God. Wewe ni Mungu who can heal. Ambaye unaweza kuponya. This morning. Asubuhi hii As your servant standing. Before your precious people. God we ask your favor. We ask your blessing. And speak to us oh God. Speak to us. Talk to us oh Lord. Guide us. Through your word. Anoint your servant. Pake mafuta mtumishi wako. With your power. Na nguvu zako. God when we hear your word Na Bwana tunaposikia neno lako Let be a seed Ndiyewepo mbegu which will grow ambayo itakuwa So that Lord we can go far and far more Ili Mungu tuweze kwenda mbele na mbele zaidi So that God we can see ili kwamba tukaweze kuona Mungu It's like Elijah Elijah you told him Ni kama vile ulivyomwambia Elijah Through your angel Kwa kutumia malaika wako You told Elijah wake up Umwambia Elia kwamba amka Eat because your journey is so Kula kwa sababu safari bado ni ndefu God Mungu We are traveler in this world Sisi ni wasafiri hapa duniani But we need food Lakini tunahitaji chakula Spiritual food Chakula cha kiroho So that Lord we can go far Ili kwamba tuweze kwenda mbele na mbele So that God we can walk Ili tuweze kutembea With your vision Na maono yako To touch your people Kugusa watu wako To touch the community Kugusa jamii zetu God strengthen us Mungu tuwezeshe Father more Lord we commit this city unto you Mungu tunaukabidhi mji huu mikononi mwako Chicago land na ukabidhi mji wa Chicago mikononi mwako katika jina la Yesu nothing is impossible kwamba hakuna kinachoshindikana mbele zako kwamba bwana unaweza kuokoa bwana unaweza unaweza ukaleta amani katika mji huu touch your people watu wako bwana for your glory kwa ajili ya utukufu wako Tunaweza tukakaa. Before I welcome the servant of God. Kabla sijamkaribisha mtumishi wa Mungu. I just want to say thank you. Nataka tu niseme asante. Thank you for coming. Asante kwa kuja. You may turn to your neighbor and say thank you for coming. Unaweza ukamgeukia jirani yako kumwambia asante kwa kuja. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Asante sana. You know, it uh, help and uh, encourage us. Uh, pia inatutia nguvu na kutupaa nzuri. We, we are not alone. Kwamba hatuko peke yetu. Otherwise, you know, church business is just volunteer. It's just you volunteer. You volunteer to come. Kazi ya kanisani ni kazi ya kujitolea tu, unajitolea kuja. It's your will to come to the church or not. Kwamba ni mapenzi yako uje kanisani au hapana. Nobody can force you to come to church. Hakuna mtu atakaye kulazimisha uje kanisani. But you decided to come. Lakini uliamua kuja. Some have traveled far away. Kuna wengine wamesafiri kutoka mbali. No dear sister from Bloomington. Ah uh, kuna dada amesafiri kutoka Bloomington. I had yesterday say I, I'm going to stay until tomorrow. Akasema kwamba mimi nitabaki mpaka kesho. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. From Rock Island. Ngine amesafiri kutoka Rock Island. It's just decision you say okay I'm going to I'm going to come. Ni uamuzi tu wa kusema kwamba na mimi naenda. So we don't want to take for granted. Kwa hiyo hatutaki tuchukue hilo kitu kama ni kitu cha mzaha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So thank you. Thank you also for supporting us. Kwa hiyo asante sana na pia tunakushukuru kwa kutusaidia na kututia moyo. And also thank you for Chicago people. Na asante sana kwa watu wa Chicago. God bless you so. Mungu awabariki sana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know God is you know serving God is not in vain. Uh, kumtumikia Mungu sio kitu cha bure tu hivi hivi hapana. God will repay. Mungu atatulipa and he na kutulisha. Say here hundredfold and there hundredfold. Amesema kwamba atatulipa hapa mara mia zaidi na kule tutakakoenda mara mia zaidi. Because we have forsaken everything. Kwa sababu tumeacha kila kitu. We decided to do tumeamua kufanya the will of God. Yaliyo mapenzi yake. Thank you uh, Tumaini and Mercia. Asante sana Tumaini na Mercia. You left your two kids. Mewacha uh, watoto wenu wawili. Naweza kujua jinsi gani mnawaacha wa fulana wale. God bless you so much guys. Mungu awabariki sana. I can say we love you. Naweza nikasema tunawapenda. So you are part of this ministry. Kwa hiyo nyie ni sehemu ya huduma hii. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Uh, where is the, my friend? Coffee. Wana coffee. Oh yeah. Coffee is from Togo. Ah uh, kuna wana coffee yeye ametoka Togo. But he decided to come. So we, we, we kuja. In the morning he was sitting there and then I saw the the text uh, past I'm here but I don't see anybody. <laughs> but I saw him sitting there I didn't recognize him that is 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 a coffee. So God bless you coffee. God bless you. Asubuhi ujumbe akasema mchungaji niko hapa lakini sioni mtu na siweza kuondoka kwa mbando hii. By the way he's the one who brought these drums and said pastor I'm going to give this drum for just a little just 200. These are uh, 500 uh, drums but he gave us for 200. Kwa hiyo yeye ndo alitoa zile drums ni drums za kama dola 500 lakini aliamua kutoa zile kwa kanisa kwa dola 200. This is uh, for the church. So Kwa hiyo hizo ni kwa ajili ya kanisa kwa hiyo. Bless the Lord for that. Hallelujah. Na mshukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya hizo. Bless you brother Coffee. Mungu akubariki sana ndugu Coffee. Raf- my friend Babi and his wife. Na ndugu Babi pamoja na mke wake. Babi came to me and said, "Pastor, we gonna we gonna continue to do it." Kwa hiyo alikuja akasema, "Mchungaji tunaenda kuendelea kufanya hiyo kazi." So b- bless you Babi. God bless Kwayo, you so much. Mungu akubariki sana ndugu Babi. Our brother Samuel and sister Lucy. Ah kuna kaka yetu Samuel pamoja na dada Lucy. I don't know how, how I can say it but uh God bless you Samuel. Lakini Mungu akubariki sana Samuel. And uh, Lucy God Lucy bless you Mungu so much. Akubariki sana. If you want to see or to look and the, the discipline of of doing things the, that that thing is need discipline. Ah uh, ukitaka kujifunza You're sitting there you're waiting you are just na... doing na uvumilivu wa kufanya vitu kama Mungu makofi kwa ajili yao. Unakaa pale unasubiria tu ili watu so, waweze kufanya hiyo so, kazi. So thank you. Tumshangilie Mungu kwa hilo na asante sana. And finally Pastor Malenda uh, he, he Mwisho, this guy Malenda. is a commando. Huyu jamaa huyu ni commando. Waking up in the morning. Anaamka asubuhi. He, he, he's a, when you go to Dodoma you cannot go or you cannot do anything in the churches of assemblies of God without seeing Malenda. Kwa hiyo ukienda Dodoma uwezi ukafanya kitu kwenye makanisa ya assemblies of God bila kuonana na bwana Malenda. He's overseer of 
maybe at uh, foot churches kwa hiyo yeye ni muangalizi kule wa makanisa kama 40 Dodoma downtown ah uh, kule Dodoma mjini so most of prominent people those parliament guys and those wale watu wakubwa kubwa wa some are going to his church kwa hiyo wengine wanaenda kwenye makanisa yake so thank you thank you brother god bless you so much asante sana mungu akubariki it was so uh, are uh, gracious to us to know each other. Kwa hiyo ilikuwa ni neema ya pekee kwetu kufahamiana. And God bless you. Na Mungu akubariki. So let me let me take this opportunity. Kwa hiyo naomba nichukue nafasi hii to welcome uh, the man of God. Kumkaribisha mtumishi wa Mungu. To to us and my wife this is not just only pastor kwetu sisi huyu sio tu ni mchungaji he has been he has been our, our spiritual father yeye ni baba yetu wa kiroho and uh, our mentor in the ministry na ni tuseme mwalimu wetu mkubwa katika uduma we started under uduma. him when we were very young tulianza chini yake tukiwa watoto wachanga going different places and different places and sehemu mbalimbali na encouraging mbali us in the ministry alikuwa anatutia moyo katika uduma i remember uduma. one time we were moving from morogoro to dar es salaam nakumbuka kuna wakati tulikuwa tunahama toka Morogoro kwa Dar es Salaam. Uh, he we packed our things. I remember we are two of us driving to Dar es Salaam. Na tulipaki vitu na tulikuwa wawili tunaendesha kuelekea Dar. I can imagine it was night with his uh, pickup and uh, we are driving pra- praising God talking and sharing. Na usiku yeye alikuwa na pickup yake tuliendesha usiku huku tuna msiku. So those moment I could remember when the things were very tough in, uh, in our side. Kama hiyo naikumbuka kwamba ilikuwa ni wakati ambao upande wetu mambo yalikuwa ni magumu. But uh, when I see him doing what he's doing and keep on going. Nilipomuona yeye kuendelea kufanya alichokuwa anafanya na kusonga mbele. Uh, Uh, say oh well, i'm going to keep on going as well na mimi nikajitia moyo nikasema na mimi basi nitaendelea mbele so we move this side we thought maybe it's over kwa hiyo wakati tumekuja ngambo hii tukafikiria mambo sasa yameisha ni sawa but god is continue uh, connecting and connecting lakini bado mungu anaendelea kutuunganisha na kutuunganisha and he never say you know when we were moving to us he he's the first person to encourage us to go na wakati tunahamia Marekani yeye ndo alikuwa mtu wa kwanza kututia moyo tu. We were in a dilemma we didn't na, know what to do. Tulikuwa njia panda hatukujua nini tufanye. He said just go. Lakini akasema tunendeni. God is God is going to use you there. Kwamba Mungu ataenda kuwatumia kule. Maybe you are going to be a missionary in Europe. Kwamba labda mnaweza mkaenda kuwa missionary. And he said we were planning to start ministry in the US and different places. Nasema na sisi tulitarajia kuanza huduma Marekani na sehemu mbalimbali. I believe this is it brother. Naamini hiyo ndio yenyewe sasa. This is my partner. <laughs> Amen. Rakaile ndio be our partner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God is good. Kwa hiyo Mungu ni mzuri. So he is here. Na yuko hapa yeye. And the last time you remember Bishop Maboya came and encouraged us. Na mara ya mwisho mnakumbuka Scoff Maboya alikuja na akatutia nguvu. And uh, I I worked between them for many years. Na, I was in the between. Nilikuwa katikati yao hao wawili kwa miaka mingi. I was assistant bishop national wise. Nilikuwa msaidizi wa Askofu. First of all I started as a uh, assistant secretary. He is a general secretary of assemblies of Nilianza Calvary Assembly. Kabisa kama vile ni akatiko so mkuu msaidizi wa under him for many years. Kwa hiyo nilikuwa chini yake kwa miaka mingi. Oh my goodness. Anyway nisichukue muda mrefu haleluya let me not take a long time karibu sana bishop mungu akubariki sana welcome bishop and may god bless you it's my pleasure my honor ni furaha yangu na heshima kuu to welcome you kukukaribisha let us see if uh, that uh, something is working well i think so should be working okay okay oh. Amen praise the Lord. Ninamshukuru Mungu sana sana. I thank God kwa ajili ya kipindi hiki. Uh, for this time. Bana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Baba anasema asante katika jina la Yesu. I say thank you Lord in the name of Jesus. Kwa ajili ya kipindi hiki na kwa ajili ya wakati huu. Uh, for this time and for this moment. Ninaomba Mungu neema yako. 
Lord, I pray your grace and uh, your Holy Spirit may be with us. Thank you for this wonderful moment. And thank you for this special moment and grace in the name of Jesus and the Son of the living God. Amen. 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 Uh, Bishop Abiyuri, Let me take this mama. moment to thank Bishop Abiyuri and his wife uh, for giving me this moment. Hallelujah. 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 Okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, Hallelujah. Uh, I'm indeed glad to be among you uh, for these two days. And I know God has been good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na pia kwa ya viongozi wote wanaofanya kazi pamoja na mchungaji. And I thank uh, God for all the leadership kwa, that's working together with Bishop. Kongamano hili. Uh, to prepare and organize for this na, conference. Pamoja na wewe uliotoka mbali. And for you that have traveled afar kuja kwenye kongamano hili. To come to this conference. Mungu akubariki sana sana. God bless you indeed. Ninaamini kabisa hutatoka bure. I believe that you will not go out empty. Hallelujah. Kuna jambo ambalo Mungu atafanya kwako na ameshafanya. I believe that there is something that God is going to do to you and that he has already done. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Jana tulijifunza mambo kadhaa wa kadhaa. Yesterday we learned about different things. Lakini tuliangalia la kwanza tuliangalia kuhusu neno. Ah uh, the first thing we looked at yesterday was about the word. Hasa hasa kuhusu e topic tuliyonayo change be the change. And uh, mostly was about the topic that is before us. Uh, Believe, love all and serve all. Kwamba uwe na mabadiliko uamini wote ukiwapenda wote na kuwatumikia wote. Na tulikuwa tukaona ili kuwa ni mtu mwenye kubadilisha kubadilisha. And uh, we saw that in order to be a person that can cause change. Lazima kuweko na mabadiliko ya kimtazamo ndani you have to start with personal vision inside yourself na ili kubadilisha mtazamo and in order to change that opinion and vision lazima ile mbegu ya kimungu ndani yako uijue kwamba ipo na inafanya kazi it's a must that you have to recognize that there's the god seed inside you and that should work na tukaona neno ni mbegu ya kimungu and we see that the word of god is the seed of god na tukaona mambo kadhaa wa kadhaa and we see different things lakini pia tukaona katika sehemu nyingine kwa maneno la Mungu Mungu huliangalia ili apate kulitimiza. And we saw another part that the word of God God looks at it in order to Mungu fulfill it. Mungu neno. When God speaks a word, analifuatilia. He follows through it kwa nguvu with all his might. He does not only follow it to look at it. nguvu yake. He allows his mighty to go with the word that he spoke so that that power could work. When he speaks, anapongea, he releases the necessary power to perform the word. Every time God speaks the word, every time you read the word, power is generated. God allows his power the word ili iweze kufuatana na neno na iweze kuitimiliza haleluya that's why we say the word is not passive na ndio maana anapasaya kwamba neno sio lile linalokaa neno la mungu ni lile na neno la mungu ni hai in the book of isaiah katika kitabu cha isaiah the bible says something very nice biblia inasema kitu kimoja kikubwa sana tukiangalia isaiah 55 The Bible says Biblia inasema katika Isaya 55 verse uh, the Bible says something very nice. He talks about the word. Inasema kuhusu neno. What verse please it's on? And they said uh, in verse 10 for as the rain comes down on and the snow from heaven and do not return there but water the earth and make it to bring forth and bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth it shall not return to me void but it shall accomplish what i please and it shall prosper in things for which i have sent it na isaya 55 mstari wa 10 mpaka wa 11 nasema maana kama vile mvua ishukavyo na theluji kutoka mbinguni wala hairudi huko bali huinyesha ardhi 
na kuzalisha na kuichipuza ikampa mtu apandaye mbegu na mtu alaye chakula mm. ndivyo litakavyokuwa neno langu litokalo katika kinywa changu halita nirudia bure bali litatimiza mapenzi yangu nalo litafanikiwa katika mambo yale niliyoyatuma amen Hallelujah. When God sends forth his word. Kwa hiyo Mungu anapolituma neno lake, he allows his power to go with it. nguvu zake ziweze kwenda pamoja na neno. that which God has sent it to do. Na kusudi yake ni kukamilisha lile ambalo kitu Mungu ametuma neno No kafari. word given ha- by God. Hakuna neno ambalo limetolewa na Mungu. Will come and go away void. Linaweza likaja alafu likarudi bure. It must fulfill what God has sent it to do. Ni lazima litimilize kile kazi ambayo Mungu ametaka. Because that kajika. word is life and the word is living. Kwa sababu ile neno ni maisha na ile neno ni uhai. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Bible said and that what God sends the word to do shall prosper. Na Biblia inasema kwamba kile kitu ambacho Mungu amesema kikafanye kitakuwa kimestawi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the, the results of that Bible said Na matokeo ya hiyo kwamba you shall go nasema, out with joy kwamba utatoka kwa furaha and be let out with peace. Na utaenda ukawe po amani. Those things that have been troubling you Kwa hiyo yale mambo ambayo yanakutesa When they come in contact with the living word of God Yale mambo yakiwa yakakutana na neno lililokuwa linaishi la Mungu The power inherent in the word Kwa hiyo kuna nguvu ambayo inatengeneza katika neno will remove them will resolve them itaondoa na kuyeyusha yale mambo ambayo yanakutiza and will give back joy in your spirit na italeta tena amani katika roho yako and happiness na italeta furaha the bible said morning ah asubuhi bibili inasema asubuhi fly away kwamba shall disperse shall disperse oh kwamba ile neno litakuwa linatawanywa and Joy shall come furaha, in your heart itakuja moyoni mwako and laughter in your mouth na kicheko katika midomo yako Hallelujah Hallelujah Mure jirani kwa nini unatembea kila siku menuna Ask your neighbor why are you walking all the time uh, frowning Niko sawa umeikosa neno Because you lack the word Hallelujah Hallelujah Mwambie niko sawa umeikosa neno Because you lack the word Bwana asifiwe Praise the Lord Lakini hizi ni, ni these are basic things that God prepared before Haya ni mambo yale ya msingi kabisa ambayo Mungu aliyatayarisha kabla. So when God talks about faith, wakati Mungu sasa anaongea kuhusu imani, he said faith because you already laid the foundation. Anatuma imani kwa sababu alishaweka misingi on which our faith is built. Ambayo imani yetu imejengwa kwayo. So when he says faith in something kwa wakati anasema kwamba imani ni kitu fulani it means there is a foundation already kwa sababu alishaweka misingi and that faith is going to work na ile imani inaenda kufanya kazi that's why it's in roman 5:5 na ukiangalia katika warumi 5:5 his love is already poured richly in our hearts anasema kwamba upendo wake ameshaumwaga katika mioyo yetu that's why we don't we don't pray and say god give me more love na ndio maana hatuombi kwamba mungu niongezee upendo love is already poor kwa sababu upendo umeshamwagiwa kwa we need to perform it tunahitaji tu tufanye in galatians say faith must work in love anasema kwamba imani lazima ifanye kazi kwa upendo so if you have faith kwa hiyo kama una imani it doesn't work na ambayo inafanya kazi which doesn't work ambayo haifanyi kazi it means it can change nothing haiwezi kubadilisha chochote kile but if faith which is which works lakini kama una imani inayofanya kazi works in love inafanya kazi katika upendo it does things inafanya vitu moves things inahamisha vitu makes things happen inafanya mambo yatokee because it's dynamic faith from god kwa sababu imani ambayo inatembea Love with faith works in love. Inatoka kwa Mungu na amani, upendo, vyote vinafanya kazi kwa upendo. That's what James said, show me your faith and I'll show you the works. Ah, uh, ndio maana Yakobo anasema nionyeshe imani yako na mimi nitakuonesha matendo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So faith must work. Kwa hiyo imani lazima ifanye kazi. If it doesn't work it is dead. Kama haifanyi kazi inakufa. If it's dead it's good for nothing. Na kama ikifa haifai tena kitu. So love has been shared abroad in our hearts already. Kwa hiyo upendo tayari umeshamwagwa ndani yako. And that kaya. love must work things out. Na huo upendo lazima ufanye kubadilisha mambo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when we serve na wakati tunapotumikia in love katika upendo and in faith na katika imani it's because there is a seed of the word of God in us. Ni kwa sababu kuna mbegu ya Mungu ndani yetu. 
which empowers us ambayo inatutia nguvu Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And because of that we do things. Na kwa sababu ya hiyo tunafanya mambo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because that seed kwa sababu hiyo mbegu confirms our election. Inahakikisha inathibitisha kuteuliwa au kuchaguliwa kwetu. That we have been we have been chosen by God. Kwamba sisi tumechaguliwa tayari na Mungu. We have been mungu. called by God. Tumeitwa na Mungu. And we have been approved by God. Na tumeshahakikishwa tayari na Mungu. We are not asking for approval. Hatuwezi tena hatuombi tena kwamba tuthibitishwe. And we are not asking for election. Hatuombi tena tuchaguliwe upya. These things has already been done. Kwamba mambo haya yameshatokea tayari. We only have to move in them. Sisi sasa inabidi twende tupate hayo. And we believe that we have what God says we have. Tukiamini kwamba tunavyo vile Mungu amesema tunavyo. You know there is a verse in the book of Unajua kuna mstari katika kitabu cha Waebrania which I say is the most unfortunate verse from inasema, uh, Hebrew 4 verse 2 wa piri, for indeed the gospel was preached to us as well as to them nasema maana ni kweli sisi nasi tumehubiriwa habari njema vile vile kama hao but the word which they heard lakini profit them neno lile lililosikiwa halikuwafaa hao not mixed not being mixed with faith in those who heard it kwa sababu halikuchanganyika na imani ndani yao waliosikia they heard the word walisikia hilo neno but they never mixed it with faith lakini hawakulichanganya na imani therefore the word never profited kwa hiyo ile neno basi halikuweza kuwafaidia kitu chochote hallelujah hallelujah therefore every word of god kwa maana hiyo kwamba kila neno la mungu which is alive ambalo li hai when it's spoken wakati linaponenwa it goes together with the power linaenda pamoja na nguvu to perform it kufanya kitu that's why when you listen to the word kwa hiyo wakati tunaposikiliza neno people are healed watu wanaponywa people are delivered watu wanakombolewa people are given ideas of business ideas watu wanapewa mawazo ya biashara people are lifted up academically watu wananyanyuliwa kielimu people are promoted in their workplaces watu wanapandishwa vyeo makazini because the word they heard kwa sababu neno ambalo walilisikia likichanganyika na ile imani ambayo inaokoa wao na ina leta sasa kunyanyuliwa brings the favor of the lord in their lives inaleta upendeleo wa Mungu katika maisha yao because the word is god kwa sababu neno lile ni Mungu hallelujah hallelujah my bible tells me biblia yangu inaniambia that we have been elected by god on his own will tumepewa taarifa tumewekwa na tumechaguliwa na Mungu kwa mapenzi yake katika kitabu ephesians katika kitabu cha waefeso ephesians 1 verse 7 tukisoma waefeso kwanza mstari wa saba The Bible said Biblia inasema In him we have redemption through his blood. Inasema kwamba katika yeye huyo kwa damu yake tunao ukombozi wetu. According to the riches of his grace. Maana tumepata msamao wa dhambi za wasawa na wingi wa neema yake. In him we have redemption. Kwamba katika yeye huyo tunao ukombozi. Therefore election. Na kwa hiyo pia tunao kulikadiliwa kupitia damu yake. The forgiveness of sins. Ule msamaha wa dhambi. According to the riches of his grace fatana na mapenzi yake na neema ya wingi wa rehema zake hallelujah hallelujah and because that's why we we speak about repentance and we speak about confession na ndio maana tunaongea juu ya maungamo na toba we are supposed to be confessing inabidi tuungame for the forgiveness of all our sins kwa ajili ya msamaha wa dhambi zetu zote we acknowledge tunatambua that father we are wrong kwamba baba sisi ni wakosaji that we may move forth kwamba ili tuweze sasa kwenda mbele that's what the bible says we don't put our our our, our grounds we don't we don't stand on repentance anymore kwa na ndio maana tunasema kwamba hatuwezi sasa kubakia tu hapo kwenye tubu tena kwa sababu haya ni mambo ya msingi but we speak on confession ambayo yalikuwa yanakaa knowledge our mistakes tunatambua ukosaji wetu haleluya haleluya siku moja nilikuwa nasema mtoto mtu aliyeokoka akiiba uh, one day i was saying that if a saved person steals ameacha kuwa mtoto wa mungu then they stop becoming the children of god akidanganya because he's lying ameacha kuwa mtoto wa mungu 
Uh, he has forgot, forsaken Apana. to become a child of God. Apana. No. No. Ni mtoto Mungu mwenye tabia mbaya. It's just a child of God with bad character. Anahitaji kuchapa na Mungu ili arudi kwenye mstari. It's just need to be corrected by God Akili in order to go back to the line. Mungu nimekosea. And uh, but if he confesses the same God, I am sorry God I have lied. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kwa sababu amechaguliwa. Because he was already chosen. Kwa kuwa ni mtoto wa Mungu. That become a child of God. Petro anasema Uh, Peter says Sisi na watoto Mungu that we are the children of God and the bride of Jesus Christ. Na bibi harusi wa Yesu Kristo. We are identified with the body of Christ. Kwamba sisi tumetambulika na mwili wa Kristo. We are his. Kwamba ni wake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So for the things we learn Kwa hiyo kutokana na mambo tunayojifunza. It's not it's not that we are starting all over new kwa again. Kwamba tunaanza upya hayo mambo. It is because Ni kwa sababu We are positioned already in him as we saw yesterday. Tumeshawekwa ndani yake kama vile tulivyoona jana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The problem of, our, of that we face now is our condition. Na shida ambayo tunakutana nayo sasa ni ile hali yetu. The source of our Christian life sometimes vile vyanzo vya maisha yetu ya Ukristo mara nyingine is perfect that's Jesus Christ. Uh, Can you repeat that please? Jesus Christ is perfect. Kwamba chanzo yetu ni kwamba vimekamilika katika Yesu aliyokuwa kamili. It is eternally established in the Father's presence. Kwamba vimewekwa milele mbele ya, ya, ya Mungu Baba. The source kwamba vile vyanzo is established before God. Vimeshawekwa tayari mbele za And because positionally we are in him. Na kwa sababu kinafasi tayari sisi tuko ndani yake. We are established in God. Kwa hiyo sisi tumeshajengeka kwa Mungu. And when we know these things, na wakati tunapofahamu hayo mambo, we can walk with confidence all the time. Tunaweza tukatembea kwa ujasiri muda wote. And we can do our things conf- conf- with confidence. Tunaweza tukafanya mambo yetu kwa ujasiri and be sure of results na vitaonesha matokeo we can pray confident with confidence tunaweza tukaomba kwa ujasiri kabisa and be sure of results na tutakuwa na uhakika wa matokeo hallelujah hallelujah umeo kusikia watu na mungu naomba unionyeshe mapenzi yako ni nini have you ever heard a person from god asking god can you show me what's your will mapenzi yako ni nini what's your will lakini Bible inazungumza kuhusu mapenzi ya Mungu. But the Bible speaks about the will of God. Tunachohitaji ni utekelezaji mapenzi yako. What is needed is just the fulfillment of God's Mungu will. Mungu atusaidie kuyatekeleza. May God help us to fulfill Kama the will. As they are. Bwana asifiwe sana. When we receive Christ. Jesus Christ, tunapompokea Yesu Kristo. The Holy Spirit Roho Mtakatifu causes us to be born in him. Anatusababisha sisi tuzaliwe tena kwake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we receive Jesus Christ. Wakati tunapompokea Yesu Kristo. The Holy Spirit, Roho Mtakatifu, will cause us to be born in him. Anatusababisha sisi tuzaliwe tena ndani so ya Yesu. So we become his children. We become his children. Kwa hiyo tunakuwa watoto wake. Ndere ndugu yangu Chavala jana alisema tunakuwa watu tunakuwa wanawake. Wana <laughs> Lakini sasa ukisema kwa kwa kwa, kwa taratibu nasema ni wanawake. Ukisema, Ukisema kwa, kwa haraka wanawake. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> kwa hiyo alichofanya ni kusema kwa haraka. When you speak that slowly say that his children. Hallelujah. He, he created us. Alituumba in the position katika nafasi which is already established ambayo ilishawekwa through his work at Calvary. Ah uh, kupitia kazi yake pale Calvary. That's why he said. Na ndio maana alisema All those who are in Jesus Christ kwamba wote ambao walioko ndani ya Yesu have become new creations wamekuwa viumbe vipya the past is gone yale ya kale yamepita the new has come mapya yamekuja but most of the time lakini mara nyingi we are living in the old tunaishi tu katika yale ya zamani can you imagine Ebu, unaweza uka, if someone is coming ito. from somewhere else or from Rock Island from wherever kwamba umekuja mtu kutoka sehemu mbalimbali unakuja hapa Chicago and it is on a highway na uko kwenye njia uko barabarani he decided to look back alafu tena akaamua kuangalia nyuma rock islands ah kaangalia rock island alikotoka while driving backwards to chicago wakati huu anaendesha kuelekea chicago kinyume nyume you'll get there unafikiri utafika chicago i don't think so hapana sidhani kama utaweza soon and very soon ni mara muda mchache sana police will catch up with him polisi watakufikia because he's a dangerous driver kwa sababu ni dereva hatari kabisa Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's why many times we Christians Na ndio maana mara nyingi sisi wa Kristo 
The word of God tells us we are new creations. We are supposed to be going forward. But many times we look backwards while trying to move forward. We look at our past while going to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I was like I was that was a naughty guy. Time, and, and the devil says, guy. yes, and you still are. You know, I was, a, I was a liar. And the devil said, you are still a liar. You are. must repent tonight. And you spend the whole night crying. Oh, Father. Baba. I'm a sinner. I am nothing. I'm simply like a grasshopper. An insect of some kind. Oh God, I'm nothing. <laughs> and you cry the whole night. And the Father is saying, the Holy Spirit is wrong with this guy. He said, he's praying. Praying what? Did we redeem him? Yes. By the blood of my son, yes. Is he Holy Spirit filled? Yes. So why is he crying? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he is looking back. The devil has stood on him. And said you are not yet ready. You are not perfect. I'm not perfect. Yes. But I'm established. I am blessed in Jesus Christ. Who is perfect. And is standing. Sitting on the right hand. Of the Father up in heaven. His perfection becomes my perfection. His holiness becomes my holiness. His wisdom becomes my wisdom. And he said, Jesus Christ has become our wisdom and our holiness before God. It is not my holiness. It is not my righteousness. It is his holiness. It is his righteousness. It is his love. And it is his wisdom. And because I have been placed in him. I inherited all these things. Day after day. As I read the word. I am perfected. Hallelujah. 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 But the devil doesn't like that. He wants to say to us, You are just a human. You can do nothing. You will fall and fall. fall. Utaanguka na kuanguka na kuanguka. It's only by grace. Ni kwa neema tu. Otherwise it doesn't it seems as if even the grace is not on you. Ah, la siku kwanza hata neema ile usingekuwa nayo wewe kama mwanadamu. You are only human being. You are wewe ni mwanadamu. You know what I tell the devil? Unajua nini namwambia shetani? I am not an ordinary human being. Kwamba mimi sio mwanadamu wa kawaida. I'm not. Sio. I don't like to concept that I'm a normal human being. If I'm just a normal human being, I'm not a normal human being. I am the child of God. I am put inside Jesus Christ. I died through him. I was resurrected with him. The life of the old is gone. Now, for now, the new life. I'm living for the eternal Life. The newness of that life. That is my portion. Amen. Amen. Because God, please, can you forgive me? I have so many sins. Oh Lord, I have so many sins. And that's why you're speaking in tongues. God knew that you will not move forward. So you have to pray in tongues. 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 He doesn't even know how to pray. He's just going backward. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say amen. Say amen. 
Amen. Amen. Lakini sisi tunali what we cry. But when we are not courageous for ourselves, we do not cry for ourselves. But for those who are not born again. Tunaomba kwa wale ambao hawajaokoka. Wamjue Yesu Kristo kama ni So that they could know Jesus Christ as but their personal Lord. But you don't know this. Lakini ukiyafahamu hayo. You can hayo, make no change in your society. Unaweza kama usipoyajua uwezo kufanya mabadiliko ya kijamii. No change, change even in your economic situation. Uwezo ukaleta mabadiliko yoyote katika mabadiliko ya kiuchumi. Because you don't know the truth of the word of God. Kwa sababu hutambui ukweli wa neno. You don't know who you are. Ujifahamu wewe ni nani katika Yesu Kristo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, he created us in him for sure. Kwa hiyo alituumba sisi ndani yake ni kweli. Amen. Amina. He is, he is the eternal position in every believer. Yeye ni nafasi ya umilele katika kila mwamini. Every believer. Kila mwamini. Amen. Amina. The believer who sees his position in Christ Jesus kwa hiyo yule muamini ambaye anaiona nafasi yake katika Yesu begins to experience the benefit anaanza kuona matunda of being in him ya kuwa ndani ya Yesu if you see your position in Christ kama ukiona nafasi yako ndani ya Yesu you, you start to reap the benefit of your being in that position unaanza kuchuma matunda ya faida ile ya wewe kuwa katika Yesu haleluya haleluya things start to change mambo yataanza kubadilika Somebody told me one day. Mtu mmoja aliniambia siku moja. I don't know how to remove this anger from my 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 I'm always angry. Sijui hata jinsi gani niweze kuachana na hasira. Kila wakati nina hasira. I don't know how to get rid of it. Sijui hata jinsi ya kujinasua kutoka kwenye hasira. And he said don't try. Na akasema kwamba I told him don't try. Nikamwambia usijaribu. Let the Holy Spirit work his crucifixion work in you. Ngoja Roho Mtakatifu afanye kazi yake ya msalaba ndani yako. Paul said we die every day. What what does it mean? Though we are righteous before God because of his righteousness. And yet the principle of sin will operate in our in our inner man. Kwa hiyo hiyo kazi katika masikio yetu. In the spirit. Hallelujah the principle of sin. Kwamba We will still continue to work in our soul. Ule utaratibu wa dhambi utakuwa unaendelea kutukutusumbua roho zetu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But as we continue staying in opposition in Jesus Christ, lakini kadiri ninavyoendelea kushindana nikiwa na nafasi yangu ndani ya Yesu. And confessing our position in Christ, na kuikiri ile nafasi yangu ndani ya Yesu. And knowing that we are children of God, na kutambua kwamba sisi ni watoto wa Mungu. And knowing that we are established in God forever, na tukijua kwamba tumeshawekwa ndani ya Yesu milele. The Holy Spirit, Roho Mtakatifu, will continue to work in us. Ataendelea kufanya kazi ndani yetu. Crucify kusulubisha the principle of sin kusulubisha ile dhamira ya dhambi ambayo inafanya kazi kupingana nasi haleluya haleluya it's going to work out in us inaendelea kufanya kazi ndani yetu putting that on the cross all the time kuiweka ile dhamira msalabani kila wakati paul day we die every day na ndio maana ya kusema kwa paulo anasema kwamba tunakufa kila haleluya haleluya tell your friend mwambie rafiki yako you are a child of god wewe ni mtoto wa Mungu. Amen. Amen. So our condition is what we are in Christ Jesus. Kwa hiyo nafasi au hali yetu ambayo sisi tulivyo ndani ya Yesu. In our Christian work. Katika maisha yetu ya Ukristo. And it develops from infancy and goes on to maturity. Hayo yanakuwa kutoka utotoni na kuwa kuelekea ukubwa. Our position in Christ does not change. Nafasi yetu ndani ya Yesu Kristo haibadiliki. But our conditions are variable. Lakini hali zetu zinashindana na kupishana. Hallelujah. Our position never changes. Nafasi yetu haibadiliki. We are established the children of God in Jesus Christ forever. Tumeshawekwa kwamba sisi ni watoto wa Mungu ndani ya Yesu kwa pamoja. We died with him and we rose with him. Pamoja naye na tunafufuliwa pamoja naye. From his death life sprang out in our lives. Na kifo chake maisha yanafufua upya tunakwenda mbele. But our op- condition lakini zile hali zetu is variable. Zile zinapishana. It changes. Zinabadilika. Because we make mistakes. Kwa sababu unaweza ukaikosa. Sometimes we feel high. Mara nyingine unajisikia uko juu. Feel juju. very spiritual. Unajiona uko kiroho sana. Sometimes we feel no I'm not spiritual Mara anymore. Mara nyingine unajiona kwamba mimi hata sio mwa kiroho mm. tena leo. 
Jenda kanisani wakati nyimbo zikimbo oh hallelujah when you go to church they say unajisikia niko vizuri niko vizuri nimemgusa bwana i have touched the lord naomba nyumbani mtoka na nasikia leo nimemgusa bwana i prayed at home and until i felt that today i have touched Kesho, the lord tomorrow leo sijamgusa bwana today i did not touch the mambo leo yamezidi things today i am low i'm low mobile i'm very low niko chini na chini niko watu wameniudhi udhi sana i feel people have made me so much confused unatoka and angry. unatoka kazini umekwenda kazini you come or you're going from work to work unataka kwenda nyumbani you want to go home unakwenda kwenye parking lot you are going to your parking lot unakuta tire yako ina pancha you see your car tire has a puncture umechoka na ukutarajia and you were very tired and you did not expect that naanza kurebuke shetani kwa jina la Yesu umeshindwa then you start rebuking the devil in the name of Jesus you command na pa una badilisha tire unaingia kwenye gari you change your tire and you go in the car unafika barabarani ni, ni haki yako kuingia barabarani samba na napita mbele yako and you go on the road and it's really your turn to go and somebody ajari. just from nowhere just came and hit you amekukasirisha zaidi and they make you much more angry. watu wengine wanaendesha hata bila kujali sheria hii people just drive without even following the road the rules of the road kuna mbele kidogo you move going forward a little bit nakuta kuna msururu wa magari you see there is a long something has happened kitu fulani kimetokea inabidi ukae kwenye msururu you have to stay in the traffic asire inaendelea kuongezeka the anger continues to build up nyumbani wanapiga simu baba ulisema mtu hai nyumbani kwenye chakula cha jioni from how say you are saying that you are going to be here during dinner time where are you umeshikiliwa kwenye msururu then you are on the traffic jam ukitoka hapo na kwenda mbele kidogo na jamani kuna diversion ni mbele ya papatiki continue a little bit they say that you have to diverge kuzungukia barabara fulani because you have to go through another road they say to inaendelea kuongezeka now the anger continues to double build while kule nyumbani wakati huo huo kule at home children started making a mess they broke things badly because they were angry unaingia tu mama nikamwambia baba na kuambia watoto wako mambo mabaya these kids have broke nyumbani they just broke everything at home hujakaa vizuri ndio na wewe chakula kiko wapi you are not ready you said where the food unaanza kula you start eating Kijiko cha kwanza tu kwa sababu ya asira kina just moto the, unaungua mdogo. <laughs> just you take your first bite and because you're angry the food was very hot then you get yourself burnt in your mouth. Wewe pia kula gani haya? Then what kind of food is this? Siri tena. I'm not eating anymore. I'm passed out now. Mambo yameharibika. Things are getting worse. Unasema ngoja tu nikaoge sasa baadaye hata nitakula baadaye. Let me go. Unakwenda kwenye shower. First and I will eat later you go to. Hilo na unafanya nini? Unafungulia maji mchana. Ule mshiki unatoka wote. Then the water just come forcefully. Unda kasirika. Then you just don't Una have the water again. Then you forget that you are going again. Unaanza kulaani. You start cursing. <laughs> Haleluya. Haleluya. Unaanza kulaani. You start cursing. Lakini does it mean kama umeacha kwa mtoto wa Mungu? But positionally you are still in Christ. You stopped being the child of God. Lakini your condition inabadilika. Ila hali yako is Haleluya. <laughs> Unapogundua hivyo, when you realize unarudi. that you go back na ndio maana sometimes we as christians that's why mde mwingine tunaposoma kwenye kile kitabu cha kolosai 3 mstari wa kwanza when we read from the book na of colossians na 6 mstari wa 10 uh, and also we read the ephesians 6:10 tunaweza kuona jinsi ambayo position yetu au source yetu in our affect our daily condition we can see how our position or association affects our inner sababu lakini hali yetu kubadilika kwa hapo but not beyond that ina maana hali yangu ya kiroho but my spiritual atmosphere haiwezi ku affect position yangu au sehemu yangu ndio nayo ndani ya Kristo cannot change my position amesema akikushika hata kuachia he says that when he holds you not sema amen nitasoma kidogo kwenye kitabu cha cha kolosai 3 mstari wa kwanza i will read a little bit let's read uh, colossians 3 verse kolosai 1 kolosai 1 kolosai 3 mstari wa 6 Colossians 3:6 Inasema hivi Because of these things the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience Kiswahili so, nasema kwa ajili ya mambo hayo huja ghadhabu ya Mungu Haleluya Kwa sababu ya mambo hayo because, because of the conditions kwa sababu ya za watu mambo. Lakini kwenye kile kitacho Efeso 6 mstari wa 10 But then if we read uh, Ephesians 6:10 Efeso 6 mstari wa 10 Ephesians 6:10 inasema 
Finally my brethren Sema hatimaye be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mighty. Mzidi kuwa hodari katika Bwana na katika uweza wa nguvu zake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Conditions will bring wrath. Hali zinaweza zikaleta mtafaruko. Inaleta hasira ya Mungu. Inaleta ghadhabu it brings God. Lakini tunapokuweko ndani ya Yesu Kristo. But when we are in Jesus Christ. Tunaendelea kusonga mbele. We continue to press forward. Na kupata nguvu. And to get more energy. Kwa uweza wa Mungu aliye juu. Because of our God's grace who is up high. Bana sifie sana. Praise But many God. times lakini mara nyingi tuna concentrate zaidi kwenye condition zetu kuliko kwenye position yetu. Tunangangania zaidi kwenye hali we cons- tunangangania zaidi kwenye hali tulizonazo kuliko kwenye zile nafasi ambazo tunazo haleluya haleluya hatuishi kwa imani we do not live by faith bali kwa kujisikia but just by feeling na kwa jinsi tunavyoonekana and just by how we we are seen na ile kitu inasababisha tunakuwa more self conscious and that thing has caused us to be, be become more kuliko conscious of the spirit of god within kuliko us kuwaza yale mambo ya mungu ambayo yako ndani yetu amen amen yani tunawaza zaidi we think more tuna concentrate zaidi hali yetu ilivyo tunaendelea mbele to just think about our position ba, how we are ya kuishi kwa imani instead of living by faith tunaishi kwa kujisikia we live by how we feel leo najisikia how do i feel today kesho najisikia how do i feel tomorrow uh, siku fulani nilijisikia uh, one a certain day i felt this way haleluya haleluya ikitokea huna kitu fulani unaanza kuhangaika it happens when you don't have something then you start to scramble ikitokea na maumivu kidogo mwilini unaanza kuhangaika then when you just have a little pain you start uh, grumbling haleluya haleluya kuna maana nilikwenda mtu mmoja akaniambia kila siku natumia vidonge 16 kabla sijaondoka nyumbani so there's a place i went a person told me that i used to take 16 pills every morning before Anahangaika. i leave haleluya is just struggling yuko mahali pazuri yuko katika kanisa they are in a good place there ni mtu mkubwa in the church this is the person ambaye ni kiongozi kanisani bana sifie sana praise the lord lakini unajua kwa nini then you ask why ni kwa sababu anaishi zaidi kwa kujisikia is because they are living more by faith kwenye imani instead of living by faith haleluya haleluya nikamwambia ndugu yangu utakunywa hivyo dawa i told him i said my friend you're not going to take this nikamwambia nina habari nina habari njema kwa ajili yako i have good news for you kwamba hizo dawa umeziacha kuanzia leo that these pills you stop taking them from today na utakuwa na hali nzuri. And you will become fine. Alikuwa selective anakula hiki anakula hiki kidogo hapa kila hiki na hiki tumbo. Tumbo linafanya hivi na tumbo linafanya hivi na tumbo linafanya hivi. So he could eat something there and they could not eat that and so just sumbuka. He was really struggling. Paka nasema Ukristo gani ndio za Mungu? Mambo gani hapa? What kind of Christian life is this? What are these things? Lakini kambi si hofu. But I told him do not worry. Leo unakula vizuri. Today you are going to eat fine. Na nikamwambia sikiliza kitakachofanyika katika maisha yako ndugu yangu. And listen what is going to happen in your life my friend. Mungu hata karabati tumbo lako. God is not just going to repair your stomach. Mungu hata karabati kongosho lako. God is not only going to re- Mungu ataliondoa. God is going to remove it. Na tumbo lako lote naliondoa. And your entire stomach is going to Anakupa tumbo jipya. You are going to get a new stomach. Na kongosho jipya. And you're going to get a new spleen. Na utakula vizuri. And you will eat well. Alafu nikamwambia na mambo hayo. And I told him say this thing. Yameisha fanyika tayari. I already done. Nikamwambia Mungu nashukuru. I told him say God I thank you. Kwa umefanya. Because you have done that. Mwambie jirani kwa imani ni nzuri. Tell your friends say faith is good. Ukiwa na neno la Mungu ndani yako ni nzuri. If you have the word of God added to it it's better. Kwa sababu ukilisema neno linakwenda speed. Because when you speak the word it goes faster. Mungu analifuatilia kwa nguvu. God follows that word with all energy. Na kwa nguvu analitekeleza kitu. And with almighty he's going to fulfill that word. Na lazima litaleta majibu. And then that word will be the same amen. Ile nguvu nyingine hata ningekuwekea mkono hapa. Nikemee sana mpaka na kuzunguka zunguka. Hallelujah going around you. Ndeni magrini tuni mwembe za wahubiri. This is just the thing. Just the showdown of the preachers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Neno linajitegemea, neno lina uwezo. The word is independent and it has Na that ukijua, power. And when you know the word, because you work by faith and with Na love. Na neno halina, mtu kwamba huyu kwa hivi na hivi. And the word does not look that this person is this kind of this person. Sawa kwa watu wote. It just works equally with all people. Wewe au mkubwa, maskini au tajiri. Whether you are young, poor or rich, tall or short, uta affect what you will cause change in people's lives sema amen say amen bana asifiwe sana praise the lord lakini wakati mwingine tunapo concentrate katika feelings but sometimes when we just nafikiria kuwaza tu in our in our katika feelings appearances katika muonekano wetu then tunakuwa more self conscious ndipo hapa sasa tunakuwa watu wa kujisikia sikia kidogo na kwa hiyo unakuwa self centered and that way then you become mtu ambaye unaukaa na umimi unajua ukiwa self conscious na mtu ambaye ukiwa unajisikia inakuwa ni ngumu hata kuhubiri you will not be able it's even hard out to preach hallelujah hallelujah na hata ukiambia unakuwa na kwenye ofisi fulani and if you are told that you are going to sit in office you will start looking in your office in, your, in the mirror twice unarudi tena unarudi hapa za ukaa vizuri unatoka subiri kidogo nilipika mwisho wake mbele did i really brush my teeth unatoka tena ngoja niangalie tie nimefunga vizuri how about my necktie hallelujah hallelujah kwa sababu ndio vinavyokutawala those are the things that are ruling you lakini yule anayejua position yake katika Yesu Kristo but whoever knows their position in Jesus Christ anajua bwana yuko pamoja naye na anakuwa na mbele yake is with them anywhere they go and they will go to do something for them bwana asifiwe sana praise the lord bwana asifiwe sana praise the lord God. mpe jirani yako mkono mwambie jirani give your hand shake hands with your neighbor kaa katika position yako katika Yesu Kristo remain in your position in Jesus Christ kaa katika position katika Yesu Kristo remain in your position in Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah bwana asifiwe praise the lord jesus bwana asifiwe praise jesus kitu cha mwisho bwana nataka kuzungumzia na wana saa yangu imeisha ni kwamba sisi tumekubalika that we are able we are already accepted Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are accepted on Kwa, the grounds of our reconciliation kumba, and justification by by Jesus Christ. Kwamba tumeshakubalika katika mambo yale ya kutakikana ndani ya uwepo wetu katika Yesu Kristo. We are freed from death by reconciliation. Kwa hiyo sisi tumeokolewa kutoka kifo kwa njia ya msamaha ule. Tulikuwa zamani watoto wa ibilisi lakini sasa tu watoto wa Mungu. We were the children of the evil but now we are the children of Nataka God. Nataka nisome kwenye Romi 5 mstari wa 10. Wa read us from Romans chapter 5 verses 10. Inasema hivi. For if when we were enemies we are reconciled to God through the death of his son much more having been reconciled we shall be saved by his life. Nasema kwa maana ikiwa tulipokuwa adui tulipatanishwa na Mungu kwa mauti ya mwana wake zaidi sana baada ya kupatanishwa tukaokolewa katika uzima wake. John 8 verse 44 says we were children of the devil before. Yohana 8 mstari wa 44 anasema sisi tulikuwa wana wa shetani kabla. But now we are children of God. Lakini sasa tu wana wa Mungu. God took us from the nature of Adam. Kwa hiyo Mungu akatuhamisha kutoka kwenye ule utu wa Adam. Placed us in the nature of Jesus Christ. Akatuweka katika utu wa Yesu Kristo. He took us from being ordinary men. Kwa hiyo akatuhamisha kutoka kwenye utu wa kale. In the divine. Akatuweka katika utakatifu. So that we may live ili kwamba tuweze kuishi kama viumbe vitakatifu pamoja na Yesu. We are accepted kwamba tumekubalika we are approved tumeshahakikishwa That's what the Bible said to Timothy. Na maana Biblia inasema read study to show yourself approved kwamba soma ili uonekanike kwamba wewe unakubalika not to try to be approved ili kwamba ah sio ujaribisho kwamba kukubaliwa show kumansi. yourself that you are already approved kwamba by wewe god uonekane kwamba umeshakubalika na Mungu We are approved by God. Kwamba tumekubalika na Mungu. We are accepted by our Father. Tumeshakuwa tayari tumekubaliwa na Mungu. We are not trying to be accepted. Kwa hiyo hatujaribu kwamba tunajaribisha kubaliwa hapana. Tumeshajaribu. You know when we serve as servants. Kwa hiyo tunapokaa tunapoenda kuwatumikia. When we serve in the church. Kwa hiyo tunapotumikia kanisani. And sometimes we do a lot of activities. Kwa hiyo mara nyingine tunafanya mambo mengi sana. Trying to do things for God 
Jaribu kufanya mambo kwa ajili ya Mungu. Instead of doing things with God, badala ya kufanya mambo pamoja na Mungu. Thinking that we'll get approved. Kuonekana kwamba ili tuweze kukubalika. Because of what we do. Kwa sababu ya yale tunayoyafanya. Because of the service we are rendering to God. Kwa sababu ya ile huduma ambayo tunaitoa. Because of the service we are rendering to others. Kwa sababu ya huduma tunayoona tunaitoa kwa wengine. Because of what we are doing to other people. Kwa sababu ya yale mambo ambayo tunafanya kwa wengine. Doing this and doing that. Fanya ile, kufanya lile, kufanya hiki. Trying to gain acceptance from God. Ni kujaribu kuona kwamba tunaweza tuka pata ukule kukubaliwa lakini biblia inasema we are accepted kwamba sisi tumeshakubaliwa tayari proved tumeshahakikishwa what we are doing kwamba yale tunayofanya ni mambo ya kazi ya baba yetu works that god has already arranged for us to do kwa hiyo ni kazi ambazo Mungu alishazitengeneza ili sisi tufanye kwa hiyo tunafanya pamoja na yeye because we are proved kwa sababu tulishakubaliwa This is our father's work. Hizo ni kazi za baba yetu. This is family business. Hizo ni mambo ya hayo ni mambo ya kifamilia. Nikiwa Morogoro nafanya kazi pale nyumbani Tanzania sometimes I travel a lot. When I'm in Morogoro working there in Tanzania sometimes na safari sana. Just going around all the regions. Kati ya mwezi wa 4 wa 4 wa 5 wa 6 na wa 7. April May June to July. I was on the road na mara nyingi nakuwa barabarani sana. Traveling. Traveling. Uh, running crusades, conferences and churches and close to mid-July somebody said that there you are, you are very tired now you got to get some rest umechoka sana inabidi upumzike nafikiri taji itakuwa ni kubwa mbinguni and say that your crown is going to be big and shining in heaven isho soa la taji say no 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 hiyo siyo this is not about the crown this is family business hai ni mambo ya kifamiria we are making sure our family business does not collapse hai ni kuakisha kwa mba mambo yetu ya kifamiria haya anguki we are doing our father's job tunafanya kazi ya baba I am positioned in this family. Kwamba mimi nimewekwa katika nafasi ya familia hii ili nifanye kazi yangu. To make sure our family business goes forth. Kuangalia kwamba familia yetu haya mambo yake yanaendelea mbele kwa nguvu zaidi. So I don't regret if somebody said imeharibika si I don't regret because unajua ni kazi ya baba tunafanya kazi ya nyumbani kwetu. If somebody said the things are messed up it's not we know that we are doing this as a family Supposing you have a, a business a, a family company. Kwa hiyo ufikirie kwamba umeanzisha kampuni ya kifamilia. You're working in that company. Kama na wewe una pia unafanya kazi kwenye ile kampuni. Maybe ya father's manager or something like Labne that. Labda baba ndio manager mkuu kwenye kampuni. Do you How really they... feel that you should work so hard to be accepted in the company. Kwamba, ni kazi or sana you know it is your pari. duty Au, to make sure lango, your company does not fail. Kwamba, because finally you will be the sababu, pale pale kazi yenu kama yote. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And because we know we are accepted. Kwa hiyo, kwa tunajua we work with all our hearts tunafanya kazi kwa moyo wote na kwa nguvu na akili zote with we have na kila resource ambayo tunayo to make sure our family kwamba familia yetu ya kazi za familia na kwa sababu sisi ni familia ya we are working with Christ tunafanya kazi pamoja na Yesu with the Holy Spirit tunafanya kazi pamoja na Roho Mtakatifu tunafanya kazi pamoja na Baba to ensure that the kingdom business is done kwa kwamba ufalme mambo ya kifalme yanafanyika kadiri yanavyotakiwa yafanyike That's why we lay hands on people to be healed. We speak words of prosperity that the people of God may prosper. We enlighten them and educate them and say oh God said Jesus came he died as a poor so that we may be rich. Kwa hiyo tunawaambia kwamba tunaamini kwamba Mungu wetu alikuja Yesu kama maskini ili sisi tuweze kuwa kwamba ili uweze kutajirika and we may be healed and whole ili uweze kuoponywa na uwe mzima and we, may, our life should be fruitful na maisha yetu yakawe maisha ambayo yanazaa matunda and not barren lakini sio maisha yale ambayo yako maisha tamu in jesus name katika jina la yesu if you have these things in your life kama unayo hayo mambo kwenye maisha yako things will change mambo yatabadilika change in you yatabadilika kuwa na mabadiliko kwako na mabadiliko yambayo yatakuwa kwako the community around you yatasababisha jamii ambayo inakuzunguka kuonekana they'll make people love to come and say how did you manage itakuja watu sasa wapende kuja kuweka unawasema uliweza wezaji we want to come to your church tunataka tuje kanisani kwako 
We want to come where you worship. Tunataka tuje pale ambapo wewe unaabudu. We want to be like you. Tunataka tuwe kama wewe. Because the seed of God in you kwa sababu mbegu ya Mungu ndani yako multiplies into other people's lives. Inaweza kukuleta mabadiliko pia hata kwa watu wengine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready to do that? Uko tayari kufanya haya? Did you understand what I'm saying? Umeelewa yale ambayo ninasema? Hallelujah. Did you understand your position? Umeelewa nafasi ambayo unayo? Jesus Christ. Katika Yesu and the seed of the word of god in you na mbegu ya neno la mungu ambayo iliyoko ndani yako that produce fruit matunda if you keep it strong kwamba ukiacha iendelee kufanya kazi kwa nguvu hallelujah hallelujah are you ready to heal other people? Uko tayari kwa ajili ya ku How many say wengine? pastor I'm ready to heal other people? <laughs> Watu wangapi wanasema mimi niko tayari kufanya wengine? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To speak a word of encouragement. Kuambia neno la la, la, la kutia moyo. To speak a word of healing. Kuambia neno la uponyaji. To speak a word of prosperity. Kuambia neno la ufa, utajirisho. Stand up, let us stand up. Kama uko tayari naomba usimame tafadhali. Siku moja. One day. I was in Dar es Salaam. Nilikuwa Dar es Salaam. I want to preach there. Uh, I want to preach. Nilienda kuhubiri pale. And there was a young lady. Na kulikuwa na binti mmoja. Sitting here at the front. Akakaa kiti cha mbele. She was not happy. Hakuwa na furaha. She was very unhappy. Alikuwa hana furaha kabisa. And she was preaching and she was not even smiling. Na nilikuwa na ubiri hakuweza hata kutabasamu. And you know if you are preaching and nobody is smiling. Na unajua kama ukihubiri na hakuna mtu anayetabasamu. In Africa I, in this Asa, place I know sometimes. Asa, Asa, you preach and you preach and, you preach and people are just looking at you. Una ubiri una ubiri hapa maana hata wanakuangalia. And all they say mhm. Na wanacho sasa ndio mhm. And maybe they will stand up. Na labda watasimama. If you say a good point and then sit down. Na madala after hao wanakaa chini. Not in Africa. Sio Africa. They smile. Wanatabasamu. They will shout. Watapiga shangwe na kutangilia. They will react. They will respond to your points. Watakuwa wanaitikia lile neno So this lady was not responding to anything. She was just Wayo, sitting there. Huyo binti alikaa wala hakuweza kuitikia chochote kile alikaa tu pale. And I'm asking God why she is. Kawa namuuliza like Mungu kwa nini anakaa anaonekana na So I went up to her. Kwa hiyo nikamuendea I took all of her hands and say my sister nikaachukua mikono yake miwili yote nikamwambia dadangu this hands of yours mikono yako hii you're going to count unaenda kuhesabu millions of shillings mamilioni ya shilingi you're going to be one of the richest ladies unaenda kuwa moja kati ya wadada matajiri sana katika sehemu hii and everybody was laughing. Ayo, kila mmoja akawa na cheka. Because she knew she was poor. She was the poor of the poorest. Kwa sana anajua kwamba ni maskini wa maskini wale kabisa. Completely nothing. Kabisa hana kitu chochote. The pastor had to give her money to go back home. Kwa hiyo pastor alikuwa anaweza kumfanya kumrudia kumnauli ya basi. To go home and back to church again. Kwenda nyumbani na kurudi tena kanisani. And so they laughed they said the pastor doesn't know this girl. Kwa hiyo akasema, "Oh, ndio bwana wakachawa sasa. No, I didn't get to know her. Mimi sikuhitaji kumfahamu. The Holy Spirit knew her. Roho Mtakatifu alimfahamu. And the Holy Spirit is something for her. Na Roho Mtakatifu alikuwa na kitu kwa ajili yake. I spoke of my own things. Na siwezi kuongea kama mambo yangu peke yake. The Holy Spirit. Naongea mambo ya Roho Mtakatifu. And I said you are going to be rich. Naenda nilimwambia kwamba unaenda kwa. Two years later I was in that church. Miaka miwili baadaye nikarudi katika kanisa lile. And I was preaching one of the evenings. Nikahubiri jioni moja. And she came to me. Na akani, akaja After the end of the service she came to me. Baada ya ibada kuisha akaja. With high heels. Alivaa uh, viatu vya mchuchumio. Like, like my sister. Kama dadangu pale. And she was coming and she walked akatembea kwa kwa Christ. You know if you have money you don't just walk like Maybe an ordinary person. Kama ukiwa una pesa utembei kama watu wa kawaida tu. If you have enough money you don't walk just don't walk like that. Kama una pesa uweze kutembea tu haraka haraka una tembea. No 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 no. And she came to me and said, Pastor, "Good evening." And I said, "Yes, yes how are you, sister?" She said, I'm "Okay, Pastor." I said, "Pastor, could you pray for me?" Same chunga, you never come here. And who are you? She said, "Oh, Pastor, you've forgotten me." Same chunga, you mean it's how? Yes, dear, tell me. She said, "You remember the lady you told?" The other time 2 years ago that she's going to hold millions of shillings. Kwamba ni mimi binti ulimwambia miaka miwili. Then I said, yes, is it you? 
Nikasema ndio ni wewe. Yes, it is me. Nikasema ndio ni mimi. I was surprised. Sema nilishangaa. She has been in the saloon. Sema hata mimi. Her was was man and she was wonderful. Sema alienda she was well dressed. Alikuwa amevaa vizuri. She was tall. Alikuwa mrefu. And she was speaking English. Na akawa anaongea Kiingereza. So I know for sure if you have money akajua kwamba kweli kwamba labda ukiwa na pesa unaongea lugha nyingine pesa kusema kiingereza wakati huda hela you cannot speak english when you don't have money that's it yes so what should i pray for your sister nikamwambia sasa ni kuombeni niambia niambia i'm going i'm going to hong kong i'm going naenda china then i'll go i go to to hong kong and then come to china and learn naenda china alafu niweze because there are containers they have ready boat to buy goods to my shop there are four shops in Dar es Salaam and I'm establishing one in Arusha kwamba tuna makontena yangu kule na nimeshaweka mapakia mizigo yangu ya biashara moja manne Dar es Salaam na moja itakuwa Arusha and from that day I even changed my prayers kwa hiyo kutoka siku hiyo nikabadilisha hata maombi yangu you know in those days we used to pray When they cast out demons, the demons say, in Jesus' name, go out to the ocean, go to the sea. But then there I changed my prayers. I said, oh my God, God. If, those go, if those things go to the sea, na kuchafua bahari. So that there I said, vale ma container kama yake na when you if those demons go to the sea kuna kuyapeleka baharini and the containers fall in there takwambia yende milimani yakae mahali ambapo kuna vyanzo vya maji so now we send the demons to a place where there is no water source haleluya mwambie jirani yako tunayo nguvu tell your neighbor that we have bwana we have the lord we have the life of jesus christ tuna maisha ya yesu we died with him and we rose with him tulikufa pamoja naye na tulikufa pamoja naye we have a life after death kwa hiyo maisha yetu baada ya kifo and we are strong in the lord kwa sasa sisi ni wana nguvu ndani ya bwana kwa hiyo kama mungu akiongea mambo yatatetereka we are the change kwa hiyo sisi ni mawakala haleluya haleluya Father in the name of Jesus. Baba katika jina la Yesu. I want to thank you Lord. Nataka nikushukuru Bwana. I want to glorify you. Nataka nikutukuze. I want to honor you. Nataka nikuheshimu. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Amen. Sasa labda niombe tu kwa kibali kwa kwa bishop. Maybe I'll just <coughs> <mama>. pray with <coughs> a, um, a special uh, agreement with the bishop so that we, we don't finish this preaching. Ah uh, ili kwamba tusimalize hayo maubiri. Without praying for you bila kukuombea If we prayed for you yesterday na kama tulikuombea jana okay. ni sawa If we didn't pray for you yesterday and want to pray prayed for for anything kama tukuombea jana na unahitaji tukuombee kwa kitu chochote kile And if you didn't have Jesus in you and you want to receive Jesus Christ na kwa mfano tuseme haujampokea Yesu na unataka umpokee bwana Yesu You know Jesus is going to receive you na Yesu anaenda kukupokea kwa furaha kabisa You just put up your hand and we shall pray for you. Weka mkono wako juu ili tukaweze kuomba kwa ajili yako. And if you have any special need that you want us to pray. Na kwa mfano kama una haja yoyote ya kiroho ambayo unataka tuone ile kuomba. Take step and come here to the front. Ah, uh, hebu chukua hatua njo hapa mbele. You know why we are saying take your step come to the front. Unajua kwa nini huo tunasema kwamba uchukue hatua uje mbele? Because you're saying I am willing to be healed. Kwa sababu unasema kwamba niko tayari nataka niponywe na nataka nikombole. Did you realize that Jesus never invited anybody for prayer? Unajua kwamba Yesu hakualika mtu yoyote yule kwenye maombi. He never said those who want to be Yesu akisema kwamba wale wanaotaka kuponyaji waje mbele. No no no. Hapana. It is them that requested him. Kwamba ni walikuwa wao watu ndo wali walimuomba Yesu hapo. Pray for me. Walimwambia Yesu naomba uniombee. And he prayed for him. And after then akawaombea. This day we do it the other way around. Lakini siku hizi tunafanya kinyume chake. We ask the sick to come. Tunawaomba wagonjwa wake. Hallelujah. 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 But however please if you have if you have anything you want us to pray for kwa just yo. take about 2 minutes. Kwa mfano kama una kitu chochote ambacho unapenda tukuombee. Chukua dakika mbili tatu njo mbele tuweze kuomba pamoja nao. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
Mama and Pastor, please come to the front and let us pray for our brothers and sisters. I'll ask you to lay hands on them even as they pray. Please do. To lay hands on them even as they pray. Let them say, what is the issue? Father, in the name of Jesus. Right now, in Jesus' name. We stand here, Father, in your very holy presence, O Lord. And I'm asking right now in Jesus' name. You know the issues of the brothers. You know what they are going through, these children. You know their problems. You know their pain that they have. I pray to you now, Lord, in Jesus' name. May your growth, may your grace, your blessings touch. Your healing touch. In the name of Jesus. I command of every weakness. I command every sickness may be removed in their life in the name of Jesus. Everything that begotten them in their brain, in their mind, in their bodies, in their businesses, in their workplaces, and in everything that they do today in the name of Jesus. I come against them. It's not going to have power. In the mighty name of Jesus. They will be redeemed. They will be left free. They will be set free. In their bodies. In their lives. In their work. In the name of Jesus. The Son of the Living God. I speak life unto them. I speak healing. I speak deliverance. I speak success in every area of their lives. In Jesus' name. Let it happen now. Let it come to pass now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke the spirit of cancer. I command you to set a loose now in Jesus' name. Like me. Like me. Sales of cancer. Nakia Mahalis Ripenda. Sinakwa hunted down by the blood of Jesus. Nakondosho Katka Tumbaidi. Nakatika Mwiri Hu. Natango Sasam Fame. To wake up on earth where Tumbaidi. Wachina by Yes Crystal. Nakisumza Tumbo Chipia. Tumba Balo Halina Kifu Kyotia Kansa. Tumba Balo Halina Kidona. Tumba Chipia. If it is in a Kwamu Kutuwa Tumba Laku.
Okay, put up your hands, put up your hands, everybody. All of you nice boys and girls. Babu di sema katika jina lako watoto hao falma mbinguni ni wao. Na sasa na waleta I bring them before you. Tafasiri ndugu, tafasiri basi. Na waleta mbele zako katika jina la Kristo. I bring before you in the name of Jesus. Watoto hao. These children kila mmoja wao. That every one of them. Yesu likutana na wanafunzi wako. Jesus you met with you as of course. Ukaweka mikono yako juu yao. And you placed your hands upon them. Ukafungua fahamu zao. You opened up their minds. Wakaelewa yote waliokuwa na jifunza. They understood all that they were. Leo hii Mungu katika jina la Kristo. Today God in the name of Jesus. Tunaweka mikono juu watoto hao. We put our hands. Fahamu zao zikafunguke. That their minds could be opened up. That they may be able to understand all that they are learning. So that they may be heads and not heads. That they may succeed in their education. God in their classes. In every activity that they are doing. In all the games that they do. In everything that they do. May they be prosperous. May they excel. In the name of Jesus. Kwa watoto wako. Because they are children of your children. Na watoto wa kanisa lako. And because they are children of your children. Na wakafa bwana majeshi. That they may be a alama yoyote. Let every point. Alama yoyote. Let every point. Every mark. Every mark. That has been placed on them by the devil. Kila alama imewekwa juu yao. To destroy. We tunaharibu. Their works of father. Na kazi zao Mungu. We arrest that mark by the blood of Jesus. Kwa hiyo tunazifuta alama hizo zote kwa Let your angels of mercy. Na malaika wa Mungu wa neema. Let your angels of father be where that mark was. Malaika zako Mungu wa katika Holy Spirit. Katika Roho Mtakatifu guide them. Kuwaongoze. To give them health. Kuwapatia sound mind. Na ufahamu. Good understanding. Na uelewa. In everything they do. Katika kila kitu Let it be done well. In Jesus name. Amen. Father, we say thank you. Just put up your hands. Just put up your hands. Put up your hands and I lay my hands on you. And you become the professor of the biggest university in America, okay? In Jesus name. 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 Business. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise. In the name of Jesus, we give you thanks. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for these children. Let them be a Let them be a blessing. Let them be a blessing. Let them be a blessing. In the name of Jesus, Son of the Living Jesus, thank you. And as we commit all of them in your hands, in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. You can go back to your class. Glory to Jesus. Thank you. Sister Bahati, let me give you a big hug. You look just like one of them, but she is the one who is watching the kids out there and teaching them. Thank you, thank you, and God bless you. You did an awesome job. Hallelujah. Do you think you can give another big hand clap to the Lord? Yes, he has done. Yes, he has done. Yes, he has done. Yes, he has done. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Yes, he has done. Thank you so much, Bishop. Asante sana, Askofu. Ryoba for that powerful word. Ryoba kwa jiri ya hilo neno zuri. That has changed us ambalo limetubadilisha and left us with no option ambalo linatuachia tena hakuna njia nyingine but to be the change isipokuwa kuwa na mabadiliko amen to be the change ili tuweze kuwa mabadiliko wenye badiliko yani sisi wenyewe ndio badiliko we are the change yes <laughs> that's better I will... Hapa <laughs> 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 ni shule ya Kiswahili na English that's where it plays. 
At this moment, na kwa muda huu, we are going to go before the Lord and give our praise. Ah, tunataka tumwendee Mungu tukamshukuru Mungu na And give our sacrifices. Na kuweza kumpa matoleo. And give our offerings. Na kutoa sadaka zetu na matoleo. Stand as we are going to do that. Kwa hiyo, kadiri tunavyoenda kufanya hivyo. Ah, uh, we'll ask uh, Messi to give us another song. Tutaenda kuwaomba Messi na leo tu waweze kutupa wimbo mwingine. But I want to encourage you. Lakini nataka nikutia moyo to partake i know most of us have given up way uh, they say above and beyond ushiriki tunajua wengi wameshatoa zaidi ya kawaida ya kawaida ya kupitili hapo mpe 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 yesu makofi kwa ajili ya mkalimani that is why we have to change every time when he, you did a good job nenda kakae unywe maji pale brother tumaini mike yako sinaongea bad sio haki kumuonea mtumishi wa Mungu amesema hapa zaidi ya risali zima amen mpe makofi yesu tena clap the hands wait <laughs> God bless you so much Pastor Noya. Mungu akubariki Pastor Noya. Amen. I want you to take this opportunity to give you the best offering. Nataka uchukue muda huu utoe sadaka yako ya muhimu. And also to if you feel in your heart that you want to partake into the conference. Na kama unajisikia unataka kuungana sisi kwenye conference hii. In an extraordinary way. Na kwa maongezo zaidi. To make sure that this is not the last conference we are going to have. Kuhakikisha kwamba hii sio conference ya mwisho. We're going to have another conference next year. Tutakuwa na conference nyingine mwisho. We are going to have such conferences in other states. Tunataka kuwa na mkutano huu kwenye seti nyingine. And in other nations. Na nchi nyingine. And in other countries. Na katika nchi nyingine. I don't need your amen. Sihitaji amen yako. Because today my bishop has told Me. my word is powerful it goes and it works <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah so i want you to give offering but if you want to do an extra offering you say no i wasn't prepared today lakini ukitaka kutoa zaidi lafu kusema kama sijiandaa we still have another way that you can give online bado kuna unaweza kutoa online we have a cash up number kutuna cash up number which i can i did not memorize um, and if you'd like our bank account uh, information kama unataka uh, namba ya account yetu please also see sister angeline you'll be given our account information muone dada angelina atakupa account number and give na utoe because i know for some of us god will wake us up at night and say ah uh-uh. ah You need to give to this ministry because there is something going on. It's not about September. Najua kuna wengine Mungu ataamsha usiku na kuambia watoe na si kwa sababu tu ya jana September. It's not about January, I mean uh, de- uh, December. Sio kwa ajili ya tu mwezi wa 12. We are here to keep on going. Tupo hapa ili tuendelee. So you will keep on giving. Kwa utaendelea kutoa. I want to invite you to be part of this. Nataka kukualika uwe mmoja wetu. That you should not wait until we say hey we have a conference. Usisubiri mpaka tuseme hey tuna kuna mkutano. Commit yourself. Ah jiungana na sisi. To say I'll do something something monthly na usema kwamba nitafanya kitu kwa mwezi do something weekly nitafanya kitu kwa wiki i do something every uh, paycheck nitafanya kitu kwa kila paycheck praise the name of jesus amen ambie jirani yako that is how we do life in christ ambie jirani yako even ndivyo unavyofanya so if you don't have cash and you would like to use cash up kama hauna hela kamili na unataka utumie cash up and for those watching online you are also invited you got a cash up you have You want to give? Na wale ambao wako online pia wanataka ujiunge na sisi kwa kutumia cash up. Please use the number on your screen. Tumia namba hii kwenye screen. And that is 773. Na ni 773 593 5 8 Again 773 na tena 773 593 5 9 3 Oh 593 sorry 593 5 9 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 7 8 
from Chicago. Na nyingine tutamtumia Bishop kwenda kurudi nyumbani. Yes, not that he just came somewhere no, he came to Chicago. Sio kama amekuja tu sehemu nyingine ila amekuja Chicago. Let us show us our generosity. Kwa tumuoneshe upendo wetu. For the glory of the Lord. Kwa utukufu wa Mungu. Can I hear an amen? Naomba nisikie amen. Bas hebu tuimbe wimbo huu kwa kucheza na tunaenda kumtolea Bwana. So let's sing the song and work for worship and dance while we're giving. Tunazo bahasha. We have envelopes. If you want information you to put your information pale uh, on the envelope please feel free to do so. Kama unataka uweke information zako kwenye hiyo bahasha. Fanya hivyo please. And if you want the church at the end of the year to give you a tax exempt through this offering. Kama unataka pia kanisa likupe makaratasi kwa ajili ya tax exemption. It's important that you give us your information so we can keep it in our records. Ni muhimu utupe information zako ili tukaweka kwenye rekodi yetu. Let us sing and give unto the Lord. Tumimbie na kusifu Bwana. Tambira Jehovah. Tambira Jehovah. Yet, please just a minute just a minute first well the song says come and do what dance to the lord we don't just sing to sing we sing the words we sing okay. this mambo of claiming the, the the song that you just sing you don't think of the of what it says it's not halali now because most have failed the pro, the, the, the the test we got to do this again for a minute you come and dance to the Lord. You don't sit and stand where you are. <laughs> you come and dance to the Lord. Amen. Did I hear an amen? Amen. Let us see how we come and dance to the Lord. One more minute. And we come and it. dance to the Lord. Come and dance to the Lord.
Tambila ndio nini vile? Tunatambila Yesu. What are we doing? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tumeimba wimbo wa Tambila Jehova. Ukisikia kwa makini wimbo huu ni wimbo muhimu sana. Unajua watu wana vitambi vidogo vidogo ila tambi la jehova ni kubwa kwa hiyo tambi la jehova tambi kubwa la jehova hata kama ni mwembamba namna hii lakini kama una Yesu ndani yako una tambi la jehova haleluya lakini pia taa na vibatali vina tambi ndogo ndogo ila tambi la jehova linawaka ni tambi kubwa oh haleluya asante <laughs> Basi bwana. <laughs> Tell you never. Ah, oh, Jesus. We have come to the end of our service this tu, morning. Tumefika mwisho wa uh, ibada yetu leo asubuhi. And also the end of our uh, be the change conference. Na pia mwisho wa kuwa tofauti mkutano. It has been awesome. Uh, imekuwa ni raha kwa kweli. And the Lord has done so much. Na Mungu amefanya mambo mengi. But we would like to take this opportunity just to recognize to and to get to know some of our dear brothers and sisters who have joined us. Ningependa kuchukua nafasi hii kuwatambulisha au kuwagundua watu ambao kuungana nasi. And especially those who came for the first time this morning. Eh uh, uh, hasa hasa wale ukuja kwa mara ya kwanza. Just to let us uh, to know your name. Ningependa kujua jina lako. That would be awesome. Si ndio jamani? Ingekuwa vizuri. Si ndio nice. Ah, uh, huh? Bila kufuata protocol. Ah, hii haina protocol. And uh, I'll pass the mic so that you just you can use and if it is your first time to come this morning, you were not here yesterday, please stand up. Amen. Kama ukwepo jana leo ni siku yako kwanza kufika, tafadhali simama. Amen. Amen. My name is Rehema. And I am from Tanzania. No, but Tanzania. I live like in the hills. Uh, naishi hapa in the hills. My name is Susan Kitula. I am from Tanzania. Susan, I live in Chicago. Naishi God bless you all. Mungu abariki. My name is Dorcas Chem. I came from Nairobi in May. So I'm just here to come. I came to see my daughter. Amen. <laughs> Mama, while you still have the mic, can you just give us a testimony briefly? I mean, I love Jesus. Jesus healed me. I had uh, stage 4 cancer. Yeah, I was wow. in India for almost one year. Oh, uh, India kwa mwaka mmoja. Now I'm totally healed. <laughs> yeah, people used to discourage me and tell me he's just going to die, but uh, Wow. But I said I, I refuse and I say God will make me. So I went to India and now I'm healed. Jesus is Lord. Uh, God bless you, Mama. My name is uh, Lillian Reedy. I live in Naperville. I'm from Kenya and I'm blessed to be fellowship with you all. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. My name is I'm from Chicago. Yeah, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Habari za asubuhi wote. Mimi naitwa Gwanto Mwakioma. Na furahi sana kuwa hapa asubuhi ya leo. I'm very blessed to see everybody. Nimebarikiwa sana kuwa hapa. I feel good to be here. Najisikia vizuri kuwa hapa. Mungu abariki. Amen. Thank you Jesus. Dada Gwanto we are so excited to see you too. Dada Gwanto we are so excited to see you too. 
And we prayed for you yesterday. Uh, when the, uh, even when the bishop was finishing. And he told her brother Mwakaluka, bring her tomorrow. So when Mwakaluka came and you were not there, I go like, where is our sister now? <laughs> so, <laughs> but you are here. Why? Because that word that was spoken had to be fulfilled. So it made its own way until you are here. Put your hands together and praise it. Tell your neighbor this word doesn't, doesn't wait today. Right there. Yes. Right there. Right there. <laughs> Man, <laughs> this not, this Ni karibia na ungana na chavala. Amen. Papo hapo. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Let me take this uh, opportunity. Uh, no Pastor Charles has already acknowledged a lot of uh, the work that came into this conference. Charles, Pastor Charles, I'm sure I'm sure what we're going to fix up in the conference. But I want to acknowledge again, uh, Mama Mungo. Like in Gipenda, we're going to talk about Mama Mungo. That she, uh, together with our dear sister Madete. Pamoja na Madete, Madete. And uh, Mama Mchungaji Noya, who I cannot see no, her. No, Mama Mchungaji Noya. She's already in the barbecue. <laughs> And today, officially, our brother Alphonse, uh, who is already at the barbecue, this team was busy in the kitchen while we were all busy here uh, looking cute. They've done a great job, right? I said, we ate well until the food was left. And please, there will be a lot of to-go's, so takes you some food. And if it, if it stay over, we are going to party again tomorrow is a Labor Day. Me, I'll call you all home, come until we finish the food. It was intended for Labor. <laughs> so thank you so much. We appreciate for your work. But I also want to ask uh, Bishop to, to do a special prayer Kufanya, uh, for the CIC, uh, CICC team, Kwa, uh, CICC, uh, team. Uh, that works together with us Amor. and that's brought together all this uh, conference. Amor. And I would like to ask Sister Angeline Angelina. who has the lead team for the conference, the Be The Change conference, uh, conference to come and say a few words and then let the whole team come forward and uh, ask them to pray for Amen. Karibu. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Buenas, Praise the Lord. Ah, it's awesome. I just wanted it to go on and on and on. Na ngependa tu yendele, yendele, yendele. Cannot have enough of this. Can you? I miss you to share this with you. Good thing is we we we've been we've started this three years ago. Uzuri kamba tulianza miaka mitatu yopita. And we're not planning to stop. So na, we'll keep going. Atu atu tasima watu yendele ya. Amen. Amen. Um, another thing is God is on our side. Ah, kito ingi na mungu kuko pandu yetu. Life goes on every We're day. We're facing different issues, different challenges, mbali na and ugumu. always we need God. We need, we need to learn. We need to uh, to be fed. We need to be encouraged. We need we need new anointing. I mean, there's so so much God has for us. Kuna vitu vingi ambapo mungu ataka na bidi tu 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 paka mafuta tu tu induliwe kiroho and we just have to keep going and to have conferences like this every year uh, until we reach everybody and accomplish the purpose that God has given us. Amen. Amen. This was, um, this was interesting because we, um, we had another event that was back to back. We just we, we were doing things when other things were going on at the same time. It was awesome. Children and, events. 
And that's another uh, annual event that we have for the kids. We don't want to leave our kids behind. We want to instill what we have to our kids. We don't want the other people to teach our kids how to live. Um, Tunataka sisi tuwafundisha watoto, ataki watoto watu wengine wafundisha watoto wetu. Na, na pia ku, ku impart what God has given us because we're not going to, if Jesus doesn't come during our lifetime, we're going to die and we want to pass that to our kids so that the purpose that God has for us as both immigrants and also as people of God can be fulfilled in, in the lives of our children and our children's children. That's how God's blessings are working. Sorry, Amen. So, tunataka kila mbacho sisi mejifunza katika maisha yetu tuafundisha watoto wetu ili sisi tunapokufa au tunapoondoka kwa nangwa mungu watoto wetu na kile kitu mbacho tunafundisha wanaenda nacho. Mungu wa bariki sana. God bless you all. We, we thank you for coming to this event. Tunashukuru kwa kuja kwa nyumbutano. Without you. Bila nyinyi. This will not be an event. Hii ya ita kuwa event. Now, God has blessed us to be able to accomplish it and to, now we are at the end of it. Na mungu wa metusahidia na sasa tunafika mwisho. We have um, um, a lot of people that have helped us. So kuna was, kuna was, atu wenge wa metusahidia. And I will just ask them to come forward. Na inge penda wa waje mbele. Um, the Shengenas family. Shengenas. Charles and Helen Shengena. Charles and Helen. The Mokalukwas. Mokalukwas. Joseph and Madete. Amen. Amen. Mama Mngongo. Mama Mngongo. And of course, Bishop Mchungaji. And Charles Bishop, of Beauty. Charles of Beauty. <laughs> And the Mokusas, oh, uh, Albert and Gloria Mokusa. Albert and Gloria. Kariboni. Man. And Bobby and your wife. <laughs> and the drummer. Yeah. Coffee. You see, we have a big team. God is good. Tuna team kubwa, Mungu ni mwema. And I think this is when I will hand over the microphone to Bishop. Na ngependa kumpa microphone Bishop. Basi tusimame kwa mtindo wa kupokea vile sasa tumeona kwenye camera that to tazame hivi. So Bishop aweze kuja kutuombea. So Bishop I pray for us. Yes, you yes. come and Make a line with me, this side. Amen. Yeah, what a tutu jengambu hii. I'll have to tamomba Bishop Ryoba. Yeah. I was a kuja kusema neno. We should ask Bishop Ryoba to come speak a word. Um, <clears throat> initially, I know many have given. Mwanzoni tumekona kuomba, naona najua wengi ya me. And what to me give. But these families have been in the front front line. They have done. They've gone beyond. So that word that works, Bishop. Bishop, we find a case. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know when you're being asked to pray for the team like this. You're thinking what kind of words you use <laughs> to reach so, uh, to reach God so that he may bless you. But I want to say this work that we were doing as, as I said from the beginning it's, uh, it's, our God, it's God's work. It's, uh, it's a family work. So it is our own job. That's why we're doing it diligently. And God bless you all. It's a great thing you're doing. It's a wonderful work for the kingdom of God. You shall never miss the blessings. Uh, how to never. miss you? Amen. Amen. I'm praying that God will give you the health. The courage. The knowledge and understanding. 
the wisdom of God na hekima yake and let your lives be hidden in Jesus na, na maisha yenu yajifiche ndani Yesu Kristo everywhere where you are kila sehemu unapokwenda together with your kids pamoja na watoto wenu and everything that you do na kile vyote mnavyofanya be hidden in the power of the lord vifiche katika damu ya Yesu Kristo hallelujah hallelujah and i'll pray for you but i'll, I'll anoint you with this oil nitaombea lakini pia nitawapaka mafuta this is what we call spike nut oil uh, anointing, anointing oil, oil. yeah And Nothing. I'm going to I want to put in, in every one of you nitawekea kila mmoja wenu and then mtajanoint wenu if you fast you anoint yourself aka bibira anasema kama mtafunga mtajiombea wenyewe so instead of my anointing every one of you I'll put in your hands so badala ya mimi kuanoint kila mmoja wenu nitawekea mkononi alafu tajanoint mwenyewe jibariki mwenyewe kwenye kwenye uso wako kwenye kichwa chako Just an oil to self. Just an oil. Jibariki mwenyewe. Alafu put your hand up. Father in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this anointing break every mafuta haya bungu yavunje kila mipango kila nguvu za shetani let the light so shine of father na ndaza wa mungu ziwake na shetani akawakimbie chochote kisisimao mbele yao let them shine wa mungu wangaye afya zao ziwe sawa i ask for your favor of father ninaomba baraka zako baraka yako iwe juu yao jehova baraka ya kubarikiwa baraka ya afya baraka ya uanda kuelewa upendeleo wako katika kile kinachowafanya pamoja na watoto wao na ndugu zao naomba baraka juu yako juu yao baraka zako juu yao baraka juu ya baraka zije juu yao baba you give them you they'll be diligent in the work and your goodness will always be in father i say thank you because you're going to bless your children the hands will be strengthened and the knees will be strengthened and the jobs will be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ the houses will be blessed God will be a wall of protection around their houses and their jobs and everything that they do and your glory will be seen in their houses in their jobs in everything that put their hands to do Father I thank you because sickness will not be mentioned in their houses bad luck will not be mentioned in their houses in the name of Jesus Christ but blessings of God they will be upon them in every day in the name of Jesus your word of blessings will cover them forever them and their children in the name of Jesus Amen Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. God bless. Amen. God bless. God bless. God bless. Amen. God bless. God bless. Amen.
Thank you so much Bishop. Asante sana Bishop. God bless you. Mungu akubariki. Dada Sofia dakika moja ukija mbele na kusema kilichopo moyoni kwa ruhusa. Sofia you want to say something? Yango. Nasifu nafasi hii tutafanya kama ile ukifungisha ndoa na watu wanyamaze kimya milele. Kubariki <laughs> wewe. All the way from Rock Island. Amen. Toka Rock Island. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kwa kweli mimi nimebarikiwa. Toka jana mpaka leo. Nimemwona Mungu kwa jinsi ajabu sana. I have seen the Lord in different way. Nilikuwa na vitu vingi vinakula kwenye moyo wangu vinaniumiza. I have so many things in my heart. Lakini nimekutana na Mungu kabisa. Thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sasa wakati nimekaa pale ndio kichwa nileta hapa. As I was sitting there. Nikiwa nimekaa pale wakati wanasema tuchangie pastor Catherine anajieleza juu ya hii huduma na jinsi gani wanawaza kwenda kwenda na kwenda zaidi she, she were talking about giving and supporting the ministry nikamsikia roho mtakatifu akisema na mimi kwa nguvu yani hapa nilipo najisikia na tetemeka i heard the holy spirit talking to me personally kipato changu ni kidogo sana lakini nikamwambia roho mtakatifu nikaanza kushindana na ile nguvu na shindana na roho mtakatifu i don't have enough money but you know i'm i'm pushing i'm pushing nikamwambia mimi hicho unachoniambia mbona siwezi nitaweza hiki akaniambia utafanya kwa ajili ya utukufu wangu I don't have that kind of money but na mimi ndiye nitakie kufanyia ufanye haleluya it is me who will provide kwa kweli huwa napenda kumtii roho wa Mungu sana kwenye eneo la utoaji i love obeying the holy spirit kwa sababu nimemwona Mungu sana kupitia utoaji because i've seen god in giving Achana na fungu la kumi tu hata utoaji wa mtindo mwingine ukipita kwenye disaster yote ngumu lakini you, Mungu anakumbuka fungu lako la kumi anakupigania nimemwona Mungu nikasema Mungu ninakushukuru I, I nikamwambia roho mtakatifu basi nitatoa dola 20 kila mwezi kuchangia hii huduma. So I will give $20 each month Hallelujah. to support the ministry. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the name of the Lord. Nimeshindana sana na hii nguvu. I struggled so much. Lakini najua roho mtakatifu anaposema kitu. But I know when the Holy Spirit says something. kuna mwingine pia unajisikia kusupport hii huduma watu waende. And sometimes you feel like you want to support so they can go. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Na wanapoipiga goti kuo banajua Catherine hata ni sahau and when kwa sababu ya ile dola 20 yangu haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe basi kama kuna yote pia anapenda kuniunga jamani mimi tu support ya watu wapige tu angalau mbili basi there's anybody else who like to support uh, would like to support me and join me bwana yesu asifiwe amen haleluya hebu itii sauti hapo ulipokisikia unapata mzigo sema kitu basi kwa ajili ya kusupport Spirit. Amen. 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 Mzigo ulikuwa wangu basi naomba angalau kabla sijaondoka mtu jamani. Samani pastor Gans dakika moja tu. Mzigo ulikuwa wangu basi naomba kama kuna mtu unajisikia kitu chochote kile kusapoti kwa mwezi kwa wiki kadi Roho Mungu atakaye hivyo kusaidia na hakuna kitu kidogo kwenye ufalme wa Mungu Bwana Yesu asifiwe tuwa na dola mbili, dola tano, dola tatu, Mungu atakubariki tu hawa watu watapiga magoti watakuombea wataniombea watatusogeza sehemu haleluya naona mama mngongo pale ananiangalia karibu mama basi useme kitu kwa ajili ya madhabahu hii Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Jamani tunamshukuru Mungu sana. Kwa hii conference ya mwaka huu. Najua jana nilikosa kuingia ukumbini lakini I hope mlijua ni kwa sababu gani. Lakini namshukuru Mungu kwa yote. Kweli kabisa kutoa kusaidia huduma ni, ni baraka kubwa sana. Sio yeye tu mimi nimemwona Mungu sana katika hayo. Kuna ministry nyingi wakisema kitu utakuta Roho Mtakatifu anakutetemesha hapo, unakuta namba inakuja. Yaani pasipo kuitegemea lakini namshukuru Mungu kwa sababu otherwise nisingesimama hapa leo hii kama sio kusaidia katika huduma ya Mungu. Kwa ni naomba kwa mtu yeyote mimi mwenyewe niko tayari kuchangia hamsini kila mwezi Amen. ili kutaidia hiyo huduma. Asante sana. Amen. God bless you.
Amen. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na mimi na familia yangu Mungu atakavyotuwezesha tutoe. I my family. Tutatoa dola 50 kila mwezi kwa ajili ya huduma. For the ministry. Amen. Amen. Kama kuna mwingine yote. If there's anybody else. Kama kuna mwingine yote. Naona mchungaji pale ananiangalia. Pastor Noya. Amen. Pastor Noya. Mwingine wanakuja Mungu awabariki sana jamani. Amen. God bless. Tufanye kwa ajili ya Bwana tumtii tu Mungu. Let's do for the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Yeah, praise the Lord. Uh, I was head public speaking but here I am again. Na sipendi kuongea mbele za watu lakini nipo hapa. Um kipindi mchungaji anaongea alisimama na akawa akasema when bishop was, to, was uh, stood up and, and he was speaking about alishukuru kila mtu kwamba asanteni kuja you thank everybody for coming at least na sisi tunajiona yani kama kama tuna watu yani alitumia neno moja ambalo nimelisahau exactly but um, uh, he used a, a certain word that but i forgot right now I'm always a cry baby. Eh, mimi ni mliaji sana. It's okay. Just trying to compose myself. <laughs> Alivyosema neno lile lilinigusa. When he said that that I really touched me. Nikaona that's why I came today. Mungu alitaka niguswe na hilo na somehow. And I saw that's why God wanted me to be here to be touched by that word. So kufupisha tu ni kwamba na mimi na familia yangu tutachangia kila mwezi. So all in all me and my family will contribute monthly. I can't say it exactly amount but uh, for sure every month we'll be putting in something towards this ministry. She was of some feather kamili lakini for sure tutakuwa na kuchangia. So mchungaji na mama mchungaji hamko alone. Pastors wengine tunaweza tukawa hatuko hapa physically but spiritually tutakuwa na nyinyi. We might not be here physically but spiritually we here. Wengine wanaweza wasichange mchango money wise lakini wanawaombea. Uh, some people might not uh, contribute money but they are uh, they are spiritually. So please never feel alone. So usifikie mko pekeenu. Mna familia. You have a family. Na Bwana awabariki. And God bless you. Amen. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Uh, praise the Lord. Na mimi ni mgeni. Uh, and I'm uh, nikaona niungane na mama zangu hao. I thought I should be part of this. Lakini uh, kwa sababu mimi niko mbali huko. Because I'm far. Kutuma hela huko, yani ufanye kazi sana. <laughs> to send money come down here is is hard. Ila kwa sababu mchungaji alisema ma drum haya yana hela zilizobaki, inatakiwa mm. zilipiwe. But because the pastor say uh, there's still some money owed in that drum set. Oh, uh, mimi ntayari ntazilipia hizi leo. I will pay for them today. Ili kusudi nimalize mchango wangu. So I can finish my my debt. Barikiwe sana. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Tunaendelea jamani kaka tumaini. We continue. Ha? Tunakusikiliza wewe. Kusu? Tunakusikiliza. Oh, kusu kuchang. Oh yeah. Oh. I'll give it my. Okay. Um you You want to say something? You say something? Um, I'm just very thankful to be here and um, my husband, he speaks Swahili, I want him to. I don't get Swahili, I want him to. Yeah, we are all educated. It's all right, I can translate. It's all right, you can go. Okay, um, yes, I just want to share, um, God is um, so good with us because 
for years, um, this is, our son is in seventh grade, so for years we've been uh, paying private school and we're so blessed that uh, this is the first year that God say no more, where our kids are getting free tuition at the private school. And we were also were paying a donation to the church and now that we, God is blessed us, that we're not paying tuition and donation, now we want to uh, pass that blessing, then now we are committing to pay here, um, donate here uh, monthly, a hundred dollars. Amen, amen. <laughs> Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> Stand right here, don't go nowhere. Amen. Maybe, maybe we uh, just, uh, Bishop, you can speak the word of blessings to, to them. Amen. And I just want to make it clear. This contribution is not for us. Mm. I, think, I think you meant that. Mm. It's for the church, for mm. the ministry. Amen. So... Uh, our treasurer put that in knot. Mm -hmm. Second, uh, we we are praying so hard that we could to have every weekly service, which we are, we are looking for a building. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are some individuals which they promise, they say, well, we're gonna help you guys every month for for that amount of payment if you want. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's okay to mention them or to leave it in that way. I don't know. So mm -hmm. huh? they are part of the logo. They are part of logo. So one of them is this brother here. Uh, they promised so to support. So we, we are thankful and uh, Masia, you know. Mm -hmm. So we're so grateful that God has opened the door. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, because Bishop mentioned about the drums, this is what happened. Uh, when uh, Kofi brought the drums that day, and uh, he said, Pastor, this is, you know, I bought these drums. When you see them, they kind of 500 to some, because they are nice drums and logo, drum, whatever. So I said, well, in a week I'm gonna pay you. And um, yeah, God helped me to get some money. Then I sent him some money. Oh uh, yeah, I gave him uh, cash, 200. And then actually it was 116. Uh, so uh, yesterday I sent him a $16. <laughs> the rest. So this morning Bishop say, I'm gonna pay for this drum. And he gave me 200. So this is what I'm going to do. This is my money because I pay for this drum. However, I'm going to pay it back to the church because I believe that God will bless us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because we have, we have some things we need to take care of them. Um, I think that's the right way to do it. <laughs> This, this is what happened. That's, that's the way it is. Uh, this, this equipment, you see them. Haijanunuliwa na CICC. CICC, Chicago International Community Church. Kanisa mbao tukua tunabudu Missouri. The church we were worshiping in Missouri. When we were we say, okay, we are going to Chicago to plant a church. They say, okay, we are giving you some amount of money. It was 5,000 US dollar to help you guys for process of what? Moving. So one day my, my friend called me, he said, hey, pastor, there, there is a church, they, they, all those old equipment, they took them out, they are replacing them and they are selling them. So I went to the guy who was, you know, kind of in charge, just asking how much this equipment all together. He was looking at me like a crazy African guy, and he told me the amount of money. He said, this is 7,000 US dollars. I said, no, I'm going to give you half of it, 2,500. 
Because this is used equipment. You don't need them, isn't it? He said, yeah, we don't need them. So give to me. Then he said, it's OK. It's all right. So we gave him uh, 200 and, uh, 2,500. So that day I was driving U-Haul. And uh, we went to Helen and Schengena's house with this equipment. And I'm praising God that uh, I didn't know come out to Tanzania Church, <laughs> we don't know. but I took all the equipment together. And uh, with our hearts, this is not a Behudi and Catherine equipment. We say, okay, we're going to use it. Even if we won't be here, sometimes this will remain in the church for the church and whatever. So that's, that's, that's we need God to to bless us as well. So, and for this drum, I'm, uh, I'm gonna give to the church. So, uh, thank you, Bishop, for sharing this. <laughs> Hallelujah. Angel to Bariki Baba, or Bariki. Angelin. Ilan Takupa Mailekezo Kidog. Oh, okay. I will give you instruction. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Bana sfiye san. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo, mwana wa Mungu alihai. Tunasema asante kwa ajili ya mama ha. Neno lako limesema Mungu mtakatifu atowae ni heri kuliko anayepokea. Na kila atowae atapokea mfalme mara mia sawa sawa na neno lako baba tunasema asante kwa ajili ya watoto wako hao ambao wametoa fedha hii Mungu na ahadi hizi Mungu utawapa sustenance katika uchumi wao Mungu utabariki kazi zao Mungu kaza mikono yao zitabarikiwa na neema yako itakuwa juu yao nasema asante kwa sababu kila mkono utakaonyoshwa kila mwezi kwa ajili ya shughuli hizi bwana Mungu na kwenda kurejesha mara mia. Maana wataziona baraka zako na wataona uzuri wako. Mungu si katika finances tu, lakini hata katika afya zao na hata katika watoto wao na familia zao. Baba nasema asante kwa sababu fedha yako itakuwa juu yao na jina lako litakuwa pamoja nao siku zote. Tunasema asante Mungu tukiweka mikononi mwako, tukikushukuru kwa ajili ya hayo yote katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Juu ya hayo Mungu tunasema asante kwa ajili ya huduma hii. Asante kwa ajili ya Charles, asante kwa ajili ya mama. Mungu mtakatifu asante kwa ajili ya wote wanao support Kristo. Na kushukuru kwa ajili ya vijana hao. Ninaomba neema yako Kristo. Naomba fedha yako Bwana. Kibali cha kapate kwa juu yao. Asante kwa maana utainulia watu wengi katika mji huu. Asante kwa maana wengi watakimbilia mahali hapa Kristo. Jina lako baba libarikiwe. Ninaamini hivyo Kristo. Maana utawatangaza katika mji huu. Utawatangaza katika kila sehemu katika taifa kubwa hili. Mungu neema yako itakuwa juu yake na utawatangaza kila mahali kwa ajili ya kazi yako. Utawapa special anointing of Father na mafuta maalum kwa ajili ya mji huu katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Na tunatamka mafuta hayo juu yao. 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 Katika jina la Yesu Kristo, Mwana wa Mungu aliye hai, tunasema asante kwa maana itakuwa in Jesus name. Amen. Unafahamu una Charles? Kuna watu watalipata jina lako na Catherine hata kabla hawajawaona. Amen. Yaani atapewa tu jina lako na wengi wataambia nenda kwa huyo mchungaji. Tashangaa watu wanakuja na kuuliza wewe ndio unaitwa Charles? Ndiyo. Wewe ndio Catherine? Ndiyo. Ah, nimeambiwa nije kukuona. I have an issue. Naambia wewe ndio utakaye kwa unajibu langu. People come. People come from all walks of life. Utashangaa sana. Mwangalie Mungu tu na mtaona anachofanya. Bana sifia sana. Mungu abariki sana. Amen. Yeah, God bless you. God bless you.
God bless you crying baby. <laughs> God bless you. Mommy, God bless you dear. Amen. God bless you brother. Barikesan. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. 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 It was for a reason. Hey, ladies, wait, wait. Subiri, uh, come, come here. Come back here. Yeah, come back. Praise the Lord. No, no, ladies, Sophia, come back. You can't just go. Nancy, when, when, Sophie, when you came here just before you started calling everybody else, this is what I was seeing. Come back here. This is what I was seeing. Like, you're not going to walk that way anymore. We told how rich people walk. Now, you go back to your seat to walk like you got them money. Can you show me your steps back to your seats? That's why the husbands were to sit down. Because God had something prophetically to let you do. Glory to the name. Yeah. It, do, it doesn't have to be heels. You just walk like as if you have them on. But even if they are not there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Always walk tall. Thank you. We have these items. We cannot keep them. They got to go with you. And uh, again, t-shirt. Another t-shirt here. Bazo has back in the city. And again, we have city. Okay. 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 Na hii ni medium. Ziko hapo nje tafadhali. Dola 15 tu. Kwa wewe ambaye unao umeoa dola 30. Yaani wewe na mke wako. Amen. Asante kwa kutukumbusha na pia we have the CDs za sessions za jana. Kwa wewe ambaye umemiss na sessions za leo. They are only 5 dollars. Ta ziko na ngapi hapa mkononi? Okay, there are four sets. Naomba umone Lucy uchukue seti zako. Is that okay? Now, come on, attack a time kwa ya kulipa. You can't buy them off today, but you want to take them, sit down, and watch them. I'm giving you 15 days, or according to the agreement with uh, where is uh, Angeline? Are you bought? Okay, Tamona Angeline, if you want an extra time kwa ya ku pay back, please come and see me. Lakini staki kuzishika, babi ni saidi basku. Who, are, who is taking the sets? I don't want to. Okay, we have two, three, four. These are four sets. Bas is Meisha. Wapigia makofi walio ziwaki. Ah, bado zingine ziko pale. Okay, nani mungine nataka extra. Mpeleke rafiki yako. You can invite a friend and have them sit down and listen. But also, it's a great way to support the ministry. And also to preach the gospel. Ili wengine waweze kuhu. Sikia injili. Mungu wakubariki sana na mwamba mbrudishie to Lucy. Then I'll follow up with everybody. Alright, tusimame li tuende tukale. Manake ata bishop anasema leo kweli hatuli. Tunaenda kwenye barbecue. Um, are we still online on air? Okay. Bado watu. Oh, kumbe mbukua bado mpu. I hope you are still watching, Manake. This was home affairs. I thought I had said bye to you guys, but you are not. For the sake of you who are still watching, thank you for joining us this far. God bless you. Chicago is not heaven. You, all you need is a passport if you are far away from this country or just a flight ticket to get here anytime. The Abihudis is here and CICC is here to host you. But again, if you have any need, any prayer request, any challenge, whether it's day or night, Give us a call at the number that you have on the screen and we are here to save you because you matter in the kingdom of God. With a few words, may God bless you and because you heard what was going in uh, at this end session, I am sure it's for a purpose. You feel like you want to support this ministry at any time. Please don't hesitate to do so. Be part of what God is doing in this wind city, the city of Chicago. We are here to be the change. 
and you are the agent of change. May God bless you until we meet again. Bye.